Ready. We're live. We're live. We're live, pal. We're live, pal. Look, something just fell behind me. <laughs> oh, good. Bonjour. Welcome to a another live stream edition of Cafe Day, Renee. Renee, this is my real voice. It's amazing, everyone. James has actually invested money into this fucking thing and got himself a laptop. I'm so proud of him. It's like watching children grow. <laughs> An overweight, overage child. <laughs> uh, speaking of children, congratulations <coughs> to your sons who placed. They got bronze, right? Yeah, thank you. Uh, both of them in patterns and uh, sparring. So, uh, two bronze medals. Uh, my eldest, both of them, but my eldest was so unlucky not to get to the final because um, he fought this one kid. Actually, this kid was American. Well, his mother was American anyway. I don't know if his father was American or what. And um, <clears throat> they had two-minute round. Judges scored it evenly, so 2-2. Two, two. So then they resetted it, and they had another 30 seconds. They drew again. So then it went to sudden death, and the other lad caught him with a kick for the first point to win. So... Uh, I was speaking to the lady afterwards. I was like, it was a close match. She was like, yeah, what a battle. <laughs> so, um, but it, it was good. Um, they're going for their grade in, in a couple of weeks. So my boy's going for his full yellow and my Sammy's going for his white and red belt. And then, and then we're going to France. France, my home and native land. <laughs> Where's Plus Paul London? That's friends. what everybody wants to know. Where the hell is he? Uh, I sent him the link so I can. Uh, man, this is amazing. Like, I could play on my phone at the same time. <laughs> right. Um, oh, I, I did send him a. World. Yeah, man. <laughs> One step at a time. Yep. He said he'll be on in a bit. Okay. Well, that's, you know, Paul London. He'll be here, everyone. Just <laughs> be patient. Gotta get those numbers up. Press that like button. Helps the algorithms. Um, is so there I, wrestling besides shitty wrestling? <laughs> Sack Ryder being angry with uh, wrestling journalists. Oh, yeah? For what? Uh, so, have you heard of... I don't, you probably haven't. Uh, there was a site, Wrestling Inc. I don't know. Dude. Anyway... They had the one guy working there called uh, Nick Houseman. So I don't know if he's still there anymore. <clears throat> I think he started his own one now. So Nick must have reached out to um, Sack Ryder, Matt Cardona, for an interview. And so they have gave all the respondents, like the, they've put up all the screenshots for the emails. And Matt slash Sack basically said, do the interview, but I don't want to do any clickbait stuff. I'd rather just talk about my podcast, so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so. and Nick was like, well, I need to ask questions. I can't prep all my questions in advance. And Sack was like, basically put him on blast saying, uh, oh, you begged me for an interview, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, and I'm like, I'm kind of with this journalist. I'm like, you have to ask the questions. You can't just ask safe questions. You have to ask certain questions. Not so much clickbait stories. You're just looking for stories. Right. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think there's an oversaturation of fucking wrestling journalists for fuck's sakes. Oh, yeah. I miss the old days when... People suspected it didn't work, but they didn't know, and nobody smartened them up. And those days are long gone. Where's Paul Lemon? Maybe I'll soon. <coughs> I tell, I tell you what, I'm just watching. Uh, you've probably come across on Amazon Air. It's how they created the Air Jordans. Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> Is it really? I think I'm kind yeah, of my Netflix and Amazon, dude, because I don't watch it enough, and I paid off my credit card, and I don't want any like more shit going on anymore. Yeah, 
it's yeah. uh, but that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I've been watching that. Uh, something I did bring up to you. Um, I don't know if you saw my message. So the um, the raw watch alongs, they're a bit of a uh, three hours long is a bit too much on you, isn't it? <laughs> don't don't make me watch any more wrestling, James. I can't fucking help well, it. I, okay, I'm gonna try and make you watch less on Mondays. You see. No, no, I'll so, keep doing what I'm doing. I don't want any extra work. I'll, I'll keep, I'll try to go past two hours. But guys, it's difficult. It's hard, especially raw, because yeah. all they do is talk and talk and talk and fucking promote their fucking shitty shows, and and I just can't fucking take it, dude. Well, what oh. I was thinking instead, instead of instead of watching raw, yeah, how how about we go back in time? And start watching the original Raw and work our way forward. So then it's like, I think the show's back then was like 45 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. It depends what the Patreon members. We got like over 100 of them. So you ask them. Oh, yeah. They, thank you, everyone. If you if they want to do that, cool. Um, but I don't have the network. And I tried figuring out how to get it. And I can't. I'm really, really bad. I told you I'm canceling my Amazon and Netflix subscriptions because <sighs> times are tough, James. Times are tough. Tell me about it. Uh, so as for news, so AEW's got the pay-per-view this weekend. Uh double or nothing. It's weird that they're selling the Wembley show really well, but they are struggling to sell this show and Someone threw it up. I, I forgot what the price was. Someone in the chat would know, but it was like four tickets for like 40 bucks or something. So 10 bucks a ticket? It was something along them lines. Well, we uh, I watched what, yesterday on the Patreon, me and Ben Hamim struggled to get through Dynamite. Dynamite's an easier show to get through, though, because there's a lot more wrestling. Yeah, it's not necessarily good, but there's a lot more wrestling action. Mm. Again, I'm watching it through like my psychology teachings, and it's like, uh, anyway, you could tell that arena was empty. But the, the lights lighting, were down, weren't they? Oh fuck yeah! Yep. Yeah. Yes, I'm going through a midlife crisis, like Ricky Bobby. I'm going to be 40 <laughs> this year. Shit's starting to sag. I'm getting like age spots. I'm getting the, the fucking age spots? Uh, yeah, man. I'm getting age spots. You know, when you get old, you start skin starts getting spots and shit in your hands and oh, when it starts dying. Yeah, and then like I'm getting the gray fucking coming in here. That's why I'm going like every two weeks to get it like trimmed. Yeah, I've been doing that. <laughs> Are you getting that done too? Ah, uh, number one back and sides. Grow it on the Dude, top. I'm starting to get the fucking. If I have the John Cena ball spot coming in, I think it's starting to thin on the top. Mine is there. Right. Like it's thinning on the top. <laughs> oh, fuck I, my uh, life. I, uh, I got, I got my hair cut a couple of weeks ago and I said to the barber, I said, How is my, because when I was younger, I had quite thick hair because I take after my dad and my grandfather. And I asked him, I said, how's my hair? I said, because I'm convinced I'm going bald. He said, it's weird. He said, it's thin, but it's long. And, I, and so I'm 34 now. So I said to him, I said, would I make 40? He went, yeah, you make 40. I'm like, I'm happy. <laughs> Once you get past 40, that's it. I don't care. Oh, yeah? Until you reach 40. I'm going to be 40 this year. Ask me, like, when I was 30, if I gave a fuck. I said, I just like you. But now I do. I don't want to fucking get old. I'm going to nah, start growing sure. a pencil thug mustache and dyeing my hair and getting Botox. Not nice. <laughs> Your prescription I, I had a midlife crisis. What? I had a midlife crisis at 30. You did? Yeah, 30 hit me really bad. I'm getting it now it's at like 40. A- yeah, it's like I wasn't even my I wasn't in my twenties no more. I'm like I'm gonna be in my thirties, and since I've turned thirty, it's fucking flew by. Yeah, yeah. 
Stress. Yes, Vitamin Vision TV. Stress. It's a motherfucker. Yeah. Um, anything else what happening in wrestling that's newsworthy that we can talk about? Well, I know you watched it last night. Um, what did you think to Sabu turning up in the AEW? <laughs> uh, well, he's from Las Vegas, and that's where they were, right? Right. And I think he's going to be at double. What's the next double or nothing? Is that their pay per view? Yeah, it's this weekend. Yeah, he's going to be there apparently. All oh, right. So, ah, I get to pay off. I didn't know you could move anymore. You what? I didn't know you could move anymore. He just threw a chair. Yeah, because I know he's physically he's really bad. Oh yeah. Well, shit. He must be what yeah. 50, close to sixty. Yeah. Everybody in the chat can tell us how old Sabu is. I'd say f- between 58 and 60. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, uh, there was a bad injury the other day at the New to Japan Strong Show. Uh, Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet, she, I think she broke her foot or broke her leg or ankle. Her ankle. Yeah. Well, Shit happens. How was the how was the crowd? Sab was fifty eight. Um, All right. One one report says it was a great turnout. The other one says it was empty seats everywhere. I don't know how's New Japan's business in the United States lately. Anybody know? Say it's great. Um, it's weird because you got like Meltzer saying it was a great draw, but then I look at some pictures and it was like in a, I know like a basketball. <laughs> you know, like a college basketball gym. Right. And um, from what I saw in the pictures, it like there was only people surrounded around the ring. <laughs> well, he's biased, right? Oh, obviously, yeah. Renee knows more Mark News than James now. Well, fuck. <laughs> he's the one that dragged me into this shit. I kind of have to look it up. Where's Paul London? Okay. At first, you, you've been thankful for me starting this podcast, but now I think you're starting to resent me because of it. I am. I am. I got a picture of my. I got a picture of you on my wall that I throw darts at every night. That was. <coughs> I've still got tons slight is killing me. Batista <coughs> walk alone. Batista should walk off a cliff. What is this? <laughs> That's a good picture of Batista. Yeah, uh, hey James, can you share the video of Damien Demento getting mad at fans for calling him a jobber? If you guys don't know, I know who he is. That's all right. I I, I think I'm friends with him on Facebook. Actually, I'm gonna have to bring him on. <laughs> um, he gets mad at people calling him a jobber. Yeah, because he was a jobber. <laughs> He's over in my eyes. <laughs> Fucking Damien Demento, man. He's cool as shit. What's this one? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to work out how to bring up videos. Like I said, I've only just got this the other day. So, oh, oh we're con- Ben yeah, wants to know what happened to the yeah. Alan Funk interview. Well, folks, I know we like to shoot straight here on the cafe, but sometimes, well, shoot, shoot a little too straight. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to just clip. The Alan Funk interview, because to edit everything out, it would take fucking three months. So we're just going to clip it. But tomorrow, for all the Patreon members, Alan Funk, if you enjoyed the interview live, he will be on the watch along, SmackDown watch along. So if you haven't already signed up for it, it's only $5 to get the WWE uh, watch alongs a month. Think about that. That's like a dollar twenty-five a week. That's like... 62 cents a show. Think about it that way. And we got Alan Funk coming on along with Ace Darling. And I believe Paul London, if he could ever show up, will be there as well. So it's going to be a fun mm-hmm. night tomorrow. I want to enjoy it. I think one of the biggest incentive for the Patreons as well is the uh, Discord group because our Discord group is up, you know, popping every time. Like the fans love being having a space where they can actually interact with each other. Oh yeah, and obviously, yeah, and obviously, me and Jonah is on there as well. So, we <sighs> interact with everyone. So, um, everyone like let's just talk about wrestling, um, movies, 
um, you know, video games, whatever. It's actually a great place. So that's for the initial Patreon as well. So if you're interested, uh, yeah, uh, please consider it. Um, 773 is live. RVD has his own podcast now. We'll probably hear Renee on it soon. Uh, we'll, yeah, uh, we will see Ricky Martin Kid Cash soon, no matter how would you get Renee, Cafe Day Renee for life. I've uh, reached out to Ricky, so fingers crossed he's seen the message. Yeah, because I love having Kid Cash on here, man. He's great. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, Ricky Martin, too, man. He's great, too. Someone said, Stop smoking, James. I do not smoke. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You're the I'm the one that smokes, and you're the one that sounds like a fucking cough, a cough uh, smoker's voice. But tomorrow I'm going for the laser, everyone. I'm getting the laser treatment. I'm fucking tired of it. It's you know you stop, you start, you stop, you start. So it's like five hundred bucks. I think my insurance might cover it. <clears throat> and it's a nine over ninety percent success rate. So. I'm going to find out more. Yeah. I don't know. It's like an what hour. It? I, it's a late. I have no idea. I'll definitely let you know exactly how it goes. But Video record it, man. Stick it on the podcast. <laughs> I'll see if I can. Yeah. That's a I good idea, James. I, I don't know if you're actually allowed to record an hospital. So uh, a couple of years ago, uh, it was this finger here, actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right across there. I was doing some work and I got like a Stanley blade and as I was cutting the thing, I completely sliced it and it opened up like a piece of steak, basically. Thankfully, I didn't hit any veins or arteries or whatever. It was just like the, the fat itself I cut through and went to the hospital and what they had to do, because I had to get a tetanus shot as well. So they uh, threw me tetanus shot, but then they injected it and it swelled up like a balloon, like my finger. So then they could, so they could stitch it. And I was like, "Can I record this?" And they went, "No, you're not allowed to record, but you can take a picture." So I took a picture, but I wasn't allowed to record it. Uh yeah. When um, I was on tour up north, and I uh, dislocated my uh, index thing, and there was a mm. uh, Vice TV was there documenting the the tour. And I said, hey, you might want to try to tape this. I think it'd be pretty cool. But the doctor wouldn't allow it. So, no. Yeah. Can't be on long tonight, lads. All some bent and got fire training. Oh, so, Renee, what did you think of the food in Ireland? Oh, you love the food in Ireland. Yeah, it's good. Steaks with a peppercorn gravy. Yum, yum, yum. I went for a Sunday roast in England one time. Yeah. It was so weird because we were up partying the whole night, the night before, like partying. And then the next day, it's like all these guys with their moms, like this is who I'm with, like a family going out for a roast. It was like, what the fuck is this? Like you're partying like a rock star the night before, and then the next morning or evening you wake. Well, it was morning for me because I slept all the way up, and then we went for a Sunday roast with the family. It was like shit. Kind of cool though. It was great. It was very delicious. I love Sunday roasts. Oh, it's a great cure for a hangover, right? Yeah. Toby Carvery, UK fans, you know what I'm talking about. So don't you have Sunday roasts in America and Canada? I've heard that you don't. I uh, never heard it before I went to the UK. Oh, what do you see on a Sunday then? Same thing I eat every other fucking day of the week. Well, dude. I know you, which you're fr you're a freak for like normal people. <laughs> I don't know. Same shit. I don't hang out. With, you're like literally one of the only people I talk to. I feel so special. You, you should. <laughs> Sean, James, you look so handsome. You new laptop. Okay, next question. <laughs> you left that part out, Sean. Yeah, you left that part out, Sean. Send another super <laughs> chat with the... Uh, okay, next question. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
I'm not in HD yet, everyone. I'm gonna. Uh, I've seen some HD cameras, external cameras. So I'm gonna need to get them at the minute. I'm running at uh, 720. So, oh, uh, so I got some news. So I call. You know, I'm waiting for that waiver to get back in the states. Oh yeah. So I called today, and the timeline now is actually six to twelve months. So there's a possibility that. If it even gets approved, it might take till next February. And I'll legitimately be 40. I told myself I didn't want to wrestle after 40. Yeah, you've said I haven't that, wrestled yeah. since November, and, like, I'm feeling good about it. Like, I don't miss it right now. And, like, since you're forcing me to watch all this fucking wrestling, like, it's not making me miss it at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, at all. <coughs> oh, yeah. Makes me want to hang myself uh, in the fucking closet. Is what the wrong fucking do? Go ahead. Next question. No. <laughs> <laughs> we we we've had the biggest trouble getting our passports done. We finally now we've got all five now. Five so, what? So passports like me and my wife and the kids. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's been the biggest headache getting these passports so that the kids took three months. And me and my wife, it took us about two or three months to get our passports done. And, and I sent you, did I send you the picture of my old passport and what I look like now? Yeah, did I can't I send believe you the picture? It. Yeah. Well, 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 neither, well, neither could the passport office. So I actually get, a, I had to get a counter signature to prove that was actually me. I am, dude. Well, I just oh, got mine uh, redone. It's good for 10 years. So, yeah, like I haven't had my. The last one, I didn't get, like, I was 16. So, because I haven't been on the holiday for, like, years, basically. So, I've never needed to get another one. So, uh, so like, you yeah, never to get a, you never took the wife to, like, Spain or Portugal or one of those places? Oh, no. We've been, but since having kids, we just haven't had the time. Right. Yeah. It's probably, yeah. I bet you it's fucking expensive as shit, too, with kids. They're no cheaper than an adult, like, on the plane maybe a couple hundred pounds cheaper if you're lucky if you're lucky yeah, yeah. you got three of them They're yeah boys and they eat a lot well we're dri- well we're oh yeah well we're driving to france so driving from where i am to london and then we're getting the euro tunnel oh. you, you, you've had a euro tunnel yeah i've never been in it but i heard about it yeah so we're good drive through that uh, to get into France and uh, so that's the plan so we're not flying so we're driving so uh, I'm not looking forward to it because from well, well from it, my dude. place to London from Have my place to London and baguette and wear your uh, ba- berets well you need to send me over a Cafe de René t-shirt so I can represent <laughs> dude shipping's too much man like and that's it's like my PayPal, it's like my pay- paycheck. <laughs> oh, good. Um, hey, Renee, favorite ring announcer, Howard Finkel. Yeah, that's the easy one. Who's number two then? Like, Finkel is the, the greatest, but who's number two in your opinion? Bruce Buffer or whatever. I get mixed up because it's brothers. Because who does? Is it Mike? Uh, yeah, Michael does UFC. And Bruce. Does whoever WCW, fucking did yeah. the nitros, man. Yeah. Yeah. Any Jerry did all the stories. Not for two bucks, the cheap fuck. <laughs> just sent all those chats in. <laughs> Jerry Lawler. Um, he was always cool. Quiet, professional. I like to brag that he had really young girlfriends. Just saying, it's the truth. He got married to um, Stacy Carter, didn't he? Uh, Miss Kitty, and that's why he essentially left WWE because they fired her in like 2001. Then he went to like the media in Memphis. Uh, I think he did some WWA tours in Australia or whatever. Mm. Then they divorced and he went back. 
Yeah, she. I don't know if she married him, but she was dating Kazani, wasn't she? Sin. They were married. Was they married? Yeah, I knew they was dating. No, they were married. Dude, I'm she telling you, she's... I don't know, but marriage and wrestling doesn't go along very well. It's rare. Well, maybe now it seems like there's a different caliber mentality. In wrestling and some of these marriages are lasting longer or whatever mm. which is good i mean but anyway next question hey renee do you watch football i do not nope i do we're first <sighs> out on top four this year liverpool so i'm not happy James, super chats are piling up. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's waiting for Paul. <laughs> Everybody, yeah, we want London. Yes, we do. There's nothing interesting going on in wrestling, dude. Is Jericho still putting himself over? He's still. I heard he's going to turn water into wine here coming soon. And, uh, uh, you know, they'll separate the Red Sea and uh, walk on water. I mean, like I said, you got. Double or nothing this weekend. They're struggling. It's like I said, selling Wembley, great for Vegas, which is where it's at. Um, double or nothing, they're struggling. Um, and so you got that Saturday. I think it's Saturday, where is it? You know, double or nothing. I think that's in Vegas. So they take. So is the whole crew going to stay there for a week and party in Vegas? You know, Tony Khan is. Well, I mean, he'll party. I don't know so much about the others. They'll be in their hotel rooms playing he, video he, games. He won't. He won't sleep the whole fucking week. <laughs> I don't think he slept for three years, <laughs> dude. Like he's got that promo. I counted. It's like a three-minute promo advertising a pay-per-view, and I think he blinks four times. <laughs> he um, he posted a picture the other day. So he's the chairman of uh, Fulham Football Club. So they own it. Yeah, and it, and he posted a picture of himself with like say the captain like three years ago, and you know he's a nice smart suit. You know his hair was short. He had a pair of glasses on, and then it showed you a picture of him recently, and you know he looks like how he does now, like hair everywhere, all disheveled, <laughs> with a wide eye like that. <laughs> so uh... I'm tell you, man, you get in the wrestling business. Don't care what part, just being in the wrestling business will change you. I'll t- I tell you, it's like, we haven't had many wrestlers who work for UWF and like Herb Abrams. We need to get Is some alive? stories. Fuck. Bam Bam's dead. Dr. Death's dead. Bruno's Terry dead. Taylor there? I don't think so. Terry Taylor. Uh, I know that was one of the main events, wasn't it? Steve Williams versus Bam Bam? I think so, yeah. <laughs> what was the story with uh, Abrams again? Didn't he have like a stripper and the police were called and he was stark naked? And he, was he like pointing a gun at someone? <laughs> well, they found him. He was naked with baby oil and cocaine all over the room. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he died, loving, he, he died loving life, I guess. I mean, if you're going to go. Have, have you ever watched um, Game of Thrones? I doubt it. I have not. So one of the main characters is called Tyrion Lannister, and he's a little... I don't know what's a politically correct way to say it now. I, I used to just call him midgets, because I, I think that's people, like what they actually, little, people, little people, James. Well, I don't know. You know, Hornswoggle says he prefers to be called that. Well, he's a wrestler. Maybe wrestlers don't mind it as much. Well, anyway, so he's a little person. Uh, right. Great actor, anyway. And uh, so the, it's set like medieval days. So that you got these savages, and they uh, say to him, how do you want to die, little man? And he goes, at the age of 80, with a belly full of wine, and a girl's mouth around my cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, one of the best lines in those series. 
<coughs> oh man, this tons of lights. <coughs> hey Renee, the sport entertainment part is one of the aspects of you're not a fan of watching Raw Smackdown, correct? What the fuck else is there? There's very little wrestling. I mean, they're just doing, like I watched a three-way, was it AJ, Edge, and Ray, right? Yeah. The three former world champions, right? But they're just doing this choreographed fucking spot, 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 spot. It's like, I, I don't like that. I don't like that style. I can't get into it. Mm. Like the overly choreographed, synchronized swimming style wrestling that it's become. Like I saw Roddy Roddy Strong, he was working with uh, Jericho. Somebody yesterday, I can't remember. But they started off with wrestling and holds and shit, you know, and then they slowly build. Mm -hmm. But then you watch the opening match. It's uh, some Australian fella. I guess he's in New Japan against uh, Orange Cassidy. First move is a fucking brain buster. It looked like it, it would literally break a guy's neck. Yeah, I heard you say it last night, yeah. Yeah, and I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? In the finish, and they hit like three or four Nishinoku drivers, one off the fucking top rope, <laughs> kind of two, and then the fucking uh, Cassidy wins with a roll-up, a victory roll. And I'm thinking, what the fuck? And you know how many belts yeah. was on the show yesterday? Or titles? Done. 14. 14 titles on the fucking show yesterday. Two hours. For thought the WWE was bad. <laughs> 14. That tells me they can't get over without a title. Like, I had some dickhead in the comments um, recently that was on about Paul saying Paul... Cause, do you remember the story when Paul was shooting on uh, Bubba Ray? Yeah. You know, it's one of our most popular clips. So someone said, oh, Bubba's a Hall of Famer, Paul's a jobber. And I wrote back, I'm like, what did I say? I said, I would like to take the time to explain what a jobber is to you, but it would be like playing chess with a pigeon. And he got really offended by that. <laughs> It's like I know I've been watching wrestling for over twenty five years. I can educate you. I can educate you in chess. Blah blah blah. And I'm like, you don't even know what a job is. I'm like, Paul was tag team champions for like a year. Jake the Snake yeah. Roberts never held a title. Does that mean Jake was a jobber because he never held a title? Right. Like on the scale, people don't even know. What don't work. Do. You know, major pay per views. They don't go in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. So uh, yeah. it might it might actually have been Bubba Ray with a fake YouTube account. 100 percent because he is a mark. Okay, next question. Oh yeah. What's your ever plans to make Renee ICO US champion? The fuck if I know. Office question, dude. I think you get more money with those positions, so I hope the fuck I would have. <laughs> uh 773 is life. Guys, let's send James uh, let's send money for James to yes. get a with this shit. It's twenty five hundred dollars to ship anything to the UK, guys. <laughs> Times are tough. Start a GoFundMe. People's in the chat asking why I'm a Liverpool fan if if I'm not from Liverpool. Those people I call them postcode merchants. Uh, reason I support Liverpool because my dad took me to a sports shop when I was four years old. I saw the kit and I liked it. Simple as that. 225 in the chat. Fuck, thanks, guys. Oh, nice. And Paul's on Paul here. Be... He's coming. He's coming. Let me, message, let me message him. For fuck's sake, Paul, come on, dude. Here, I'll we built the show you around know. you. We, we built this around you tonight. <laughs> wonder if Moxley blades himself when he's resting his girl in the bed to make it more dramatic. Oh. <laughs> Remember when New Jack was dating Terry Runnels? It went all viral on the internet. Yeah. She like gigged herself while like having intercourse or something. That was that was something special. According to New Jack, yeah. Well, I seen the picture with her oh, face wow. covered in blood. So she done it to herself on purpose. I guess. 
Drugs are bad, it's okay? Christmas. Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. Okay. Mayor Juwan is bad, okay? I should. I should have a lot of people on. I should have, uh, you know, Jared COVID. I should have Booger Tits. I should have Blubber Ray. And I should have everyone. But, you know, some things just you can't have in life. You know, you have to learn to accept them. So, listen. If yeah, I'm still waiting. Ah, uh-huh. yeah. No, we've got we've got a lot of guests booked up, but I'm still waiting for some confirmations on some of us. Yeah, we got. I don't want to name names, but we got some '80s WWF guys, some early yes. '90s WWF guys. Um, Joy Giovanni's next week. Is that next week? Shit. Tuesday. Yeah, I haven't seen her in fucking hell. 20 years? Oh, well. Yeah. Um, did I just skip one? Um, no, uh, that one. How about a full episode on Drug Spec? Didn't we do that with uh, Matt? Uh, Morgan? Yeah, well, I'm sure we done one. And Maven? I think, yeah, I think, didn't, we, didn't you make a collage or a... A deep dive or something with like Eugene and Maven and Matt Morgan. I haven't, but I could make one. But if you should for the time being, yeah. But for the time being, uh, Crispy Cruiser, yeah. Check out our episodes with Eugene, Maven, and uh, Matt Morgan definitely because very very open. Uh, what do you call it, conversations? Especially yeah. Maven and Matt. Yeah, and. uh the 90s WWF guy we got coming in, he's pretty fucking open and honest about shit, too. Hmm. All right. Is that confirmed? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Hoss! 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 We're, 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 yeah, I, I, it's not confirmed. I'm just waiting for him to agree to a day. Oh, okay. So, uh, but yeah, oh, he, he said he'll come on. But He said he'll come on, but we're just waiting for a day. Yeah. What's that? Labatt Blue is a Canadian beer. Um, I think it's because you know a lot of guys drink beer when they got the blues, and uh, Labatt's a good beer to drink when you're feeling down. Two hundred forty-six in the chat. Keep it coming, guys. Press that like button. Helps the algorithm. We need to grow this son of a bitch. Green onions. Hoss. 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 Um. What's the next question? I've got some drink in the, I've got some drink in the fridge actually. I'm not working tomorrow. Oh Jesus. Thank you, everyone. I, I haven't James started. Yet. Drink. <laughs> James just relapsed. I appreciate it. Uh hundred dollars offended pigeon guy was bet from Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> Two fifty in the chat. Awesome guys. There we go. All right, two. Four women's belts. Oh, bless you. Oh. Four it's women's, four belts, women's now. belts now. New Japan Strong, TBS, Ring of Honor, and AEW. What? And they're all in AEW. Yeah. Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> like how I'm a casual fan. And I'm I'm confused watching, and I'm in the business, and it's like. Anyway, but well, how many tickets sold in the UK? Where are they up to? Does anybody know in the chat? Come on, work with us, guys. How many? I, think I heard there were 60, according, 70. About 70, according to the uh, websites. 70,000 tickets, but they have a hard time. 60,000 tickets. Hmm. Minus 20,000 tickets. Thanks, Code SM96. Can you get that dungeon, Lillian Garcia? I'll reach out. I'll I'll reach out. I'll have to try and find her details. But uh, I don't know if she... Has she still got her own podcast? She did have one, but I don't know if she still does it. I think a lot of people just give up after a while, right? Um... Yeah, they do. Um, See, there's no quit. There's no quit in the cafe. 
See, consistency is key, folks. You understand? Where there's a will, there's a way. Only the strong survive. Never give up. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. Rogaine. Rogaine, you know, that's what you need, buddy. You talk about willpower. I'm the alcoholic, and you're the one who can't stop smoking. <laughs> right. <laughs> Consistency is key. <laughs> Nobody likes a quitter. <laughs> it's the consistency. I don't know the meaning of the Where word. Where the fuck is Paul London? Okay. <coughs> Rex, got to go. Oh, holding out for Melina as a guest. We'll try, Rex. Um, I'll get Jonah to work on that one. Uh, take care, all. Watch out when showering. <laughs> Never know when Hayes' eyes is upon you. Thanks for the tip, Rex. We appreciate you so much. I uh, called into the gym on the way back, and they've got like open showers. So I'm in the shower, and there's like a couple other guys, and I started giggling to myself because Michael Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> date, date. So, people date. in there must be thinking, "What the fuck's he laughing at?" <laughs> right, that's something to make you feel uncomfortable. You're in the shower <laughs> naked, a bunch of strangers, and someone just starts giggling. <laughs> And something like that will uh, get your ass kicked doing something like that. Anyway. Or something or something else. <laughs> right. Uh would you have had new Jack on if he was still alive? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Jonah had him on his show, you know. Did he really? Yeah, man, he interviewed him uh, I think it was like a year before he died. What a great but towards the end you could tell there was like maybe some neurological issues. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could tell there were some issues there. Hmm. He'd have a hard time, like, responding to shit. And... Think of all the concussions he got. A, a guy I could probably get, but I don't know what how much of an interview would be, would be Virgil. But isn't he suffering from, like, dementia or Alzheimer's at the minute? That's the word on the street. Yeah. So, I'd like to have him on, but it's like, well, no, I mean, capable? If, the, if the person's got too many issues, I mean, it's it feels like a, we're almost taking advantage and trying to expose them. And so, hmm. yeah, I'm going to try to keep it classy for now on, and uh, you know, just bury guys like uh, Blubber Ray, you know, because uh, they're assholes. Yeah. He did lose a lot of weight, though. Have you seen? Yeah, he did. I think yeah. I uh, I might have motivated the guy. You're welcome, Mark. Didn't you, didn't you say that he was talking to Harry Smith or something about the show? Oh, no, Harry said, oh, hey, Blubber said, or Bubba said to say, hey. Like, I'm supposed to be scared or some shit, like. The fuck? Am I 19? No. I'm going to be a 40-year-old fucking man. If you don't have a goddamn clue the shit that I've been through in life, like, what the fuck? I'm fucking scared of you. Hmm. Anyway, next question. I think I think we're good. <laughs> Paul smoking a big fat joint right now. Be patient. Give him a minute, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Probably <you're laughs> right here right now. Uh yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, someone said 60,000 for AEW. How many? 60? 60,000, yeah. Renee, top 10 hottest women. That should be top. a patron exclusive. Top 10? Yeah. <sighs> We're only doing super chats, dude. The yeah. Listen, is Paul only going to show up or what? I, 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 where is he? Just message him saying we're ready. We've been ready. We've been ready for 45 minutes. We can't do false advertisement. I don't want to stay on for like three hours. Mm -hmm. Paul, please work with me. Paul, are you on them marijuana pills? <laughs> it was <laughs> funny. There's actually our marijuana pills now. That's the funniest part. Yeah. You can buy them here at the, like down the road at the head shop or whatever, the dispensary. Mm. Marijuana gummies, marijuana pills. 
marijuana drinks, THC drinks, cake. It's um, like I've never partook in it, but I've heard it's pretty relaxing. Um, not for me. I get paranoid. I hate it. I hate edibles. I dude, I haven't used pot. I can't remember the last time I partaked in marijuana. Right. Honestly, it's been that long. What about so, shrooms? I did those once. I've never have, but they sound fun. <laughs> it depends what kind of trip you get. Some people have a bad trip and they start thinking about weird shit and it's no fun. Yeah. I didn't mind. I just I was looking at the ceiling and it was doing all these like cool. Yeah, but it's not like I loaded up on it. You know, some guys like I remember in high school, one kid. Because you're only supposed to eat a little bit. He loaded up his entire Subway sandwich with the shit. And yeah. And he had a bad trip and had to like fucking go home and locked himself in his fucking room and like for like seven hours tripping balls. Yeah. I, was. It was, I don't know if it was, it was a friend of a friend. And they went nightclub and someone, I think, spiked his drink. And I don't think it was a down or anything like that, but it must have been like some sort of like acid or, you know, whatever. But they said, <laughs> there's two friends actually. The one guy, I think it was the same guy. I know who it is now. They said he saw a puddle outside and he started rolling in the puddle thinking he was a cornflake. And then they took him back home and he was downstairs and they looked and he was like <laughs> trying to make love to the sofa. You like the cr- you like the crack in the seat. <laughs> hey man, sofas need loving too, bro. <laughs> no, drugs are bad. Okay? I don't need drugs. <coughs> drugs are bad. While we're all waiting Gerardo. for Gerardo, biggest question is where's Jason's sensation? Well, that is a good question. Uh... I haven't seen him on social media, and uh, listen, if he if he wants to reach out, um, I'm all ears. But I, I don't want to go chasing after people anymore. You know what I mean? I'm, uh, getting, I'm, getting too, uh, I'm middle aged and crazy, right? Paul's just messaged me. Uh, he's on the way back home. He's just in traffic. Okay, Paul London's gonna be here in about a little while. Uh, JP belts, uh, Japan belts, Sanada, New Japan champ, Nagata, All Japan, Jake Lee Noah. Is Jake Lee Noah champion? Yeah, he, uh, who did he beat? Dude, like, there are way too many title changes for me, man. Jesus yeah. Jesus, fuck. Like, don't you realize that if you switch it every other week or have 10 day runs that it just kills the fucking belt? Well, your last run, I think you only had the belt for like a week, two weeks. Who? You and um, Wagner, the tag belt. Ten days. Last went over there. Yeah. Ten days, yeah. Like I said, the, and they, they only had it for like a month. Well, we all yeah, know what yeah, happened. It, it, well, yeah, it wasn't yeah. a smart booking ch- uh, choice on their part. <laughs> and then didn't... Uh... Yeah, didn't Timothy Thatcher win it and they only had it for like two weeks? Mm, yeah. Suzuki and Thatcher won it and they only had it for like two weeks. And then, ooh, I don't even know what fuck has it now. I, I don't keep up, dude. I, I, gotta watch, nice. I gotta watch AEW and WWE. Hope y'all appreciate that shit. God damn, I, I got this thing growing in my eye from stress. I think it, I gotta get this checked out. Yeah, there's something growing on my eye, dude. It looked like that dude from uh, Something About Mary. Remember the bald headed guy in the beard when he gets that zit on his fucking eye? Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's from stress. I'm watching my, my younger, wrestling. Go ahead. My uh, my youngest, uh, he went for an eye test uh, the other week and he asked her for glasses. He needs glasses? Yeah, my youngest, uh, he's five. And I think they said it's his left eye 
Um, but I've told you because he's autistic, so he, he can't speak. And when he was given eye tests in school, because he's autistic, uh, they couldn't give him a proper test. So we took him to the place and it's they've got like this machine. They like fire it at him and they said the numbers are off. So what well, he can see, but I think I, they said something like he's left vision is like slightly more blurry. So he has to, um, and he, we, well, we got an appointment, but I have to rearrange it um, to see what glasses he actually needs. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, that's that. Anyway, I um, guess it's time to pour a RR and wait for Paul. What's RR? Royal Reserve. Fixed stream. Even talking about Royal Reserve Canadian whiskey makes me sick. I told you a story, right? When I was 12, I got drunk on whiskey, Canadian whiskey, and I crashed into the Dairy Queen sign on my bicycle. <laughs> I was 12. That boy's got a family, damn it. Yeah, I've, I think I've always been a wild child. Like, seriously. Yeah. Always a little nuts. Do you know what I found out I can do on this computer? Um, this thing's called hotkeys. So, you know, when you're talking, I can hit a button and it just brings you up full screen. I don't like that. That's, let's try it, but I don't like it. I don't know how to do it yet, but you can do it. Oh, but I'm still playing about with this thing. Oh, okay. Yes, everyone. Let's give a fucking round of applause for James on getting a laptop. It only took him a year and a fucking half, but he did it, buddy. We're moving on up. Well, you know, <laughs> how long have I been podcasting now? I'm Fuck, talking about podcast. Show. I know, but I've been podcasting since lockdown, so about three years. <laughs> oh. I think I've done all right running it on the phone. <laughs> no, your earlier shows sucked. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I, yeah, I, no, I, I had, I'm I had, talking about I, I, the fucking... It didn't yeah, look yeah. good. This no, looks much, it, Come on, fans. Back me up here, cafe crew. Doesn't this look much better? It does. <laughs> and it does. you get a HD camera. <coughs> How would you have handled John Tossel's fake question? Who? John Tossel. John Tossel? Which one, oh. Which one was was he? I want to start crying and say, it's still real to me, damn it. Was that the uh, Dave Schultz one? Yeah, where he slapped the shit twice. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd love the Hogan one. <laughs> Which one? That way, chuck the guy out, Hogan. The guy passed oh, away recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a shoot too, right? That's legitimately how you do it. You put right underneath there, and yes, just... like that. Yeah. Two sixty in the chat. Thank you, everyone. Uh, please, if you can, please hit that like button. Uh, Paul will be on really, really soon. I know you've all been waiting for him. You can wait a couple more minutes. He'll be here soon. Uh, TK? Oh. I'm guessing you're a Japanese wrestling fan. Take a sheet to left. Take a shit left. DDT, Yuka left. TJ. Tony Khan. Tony Khan stealing Japan. Takashita no, left DDT. They didn't UK. leave anything. They're just on excursion, dude. Right. They they still they're still loyal to their whatever company. Mm. Yeah. Uh, ta- Takashi. I can't I can't un- unhear it when shit. I hear Cornette call him take a shit. <laughs> yeah. So is he with D- he was with DDT right or still is? Uh, he must have been. I, I, I'm to be honest, I've never heard of him before. Yeah, well, the, he's still you know he's just on excursion, dude. That way, there when he goes back to Japan, he'd be a bigger star, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, my mouth's dry. I need a drink. They're saying it's announced. They both left. All right, not excursion. Um, do I care? Not really. 
Do you ever um, see Okada or Tanahashi signing with a North American company full time, or do you reckon they're just happy? When I the rumor was when I first went to Japan for that company hustle, yeah, they had offered uh, Tanahashi a three year one point five or two million dollar base salary with other like perks, and he turned it down. Is that WWE? Yeah, no hustle. Ah, oh, hustle, right? Yeah, they had brought in like Foley and Nash. I heard they were making like fifty or sixty k a shot. They went bankrupt. They lost all their money. Yeah. So. Um, it's, I mean, are you surprised Nakamura's uh, lasted so long in WWE, like, coming over? He's very, very talented, and he's got no, no bad I know. habits. Yeah, I know what you mean, and but I, like, from what I hear, leave us leaving Japan. No, because from what I hear, he's getting a boatload of, of cash, right? You know, some guys don't mind selling in the United States, others like Tajiri, he wanted to get the fuck out and go back home, or uh, Sairi, what's her name? C- oh, Kairi Zane, yeah, her, yeah. I also heard, I also heard that was the same with um. Taka making no true. He couldn't wait to go home, but Funaki settled in the States. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now that I've come back home and been like, when I first got kicked out of the States, I went through like a major depression because I had to live in your country. <laughs> well, no, your country wasn't so bad. It's who I was working for, which was really fucking depressing. Yeah. Uh, I, I've since gone over, and when I get to stay with like my buddy Danny Evans, like I fucking I love England. Actually, it's all with the company you keep, right? Anyway, but now that I'm back in Canada, like the thought of living, having to move back to the United States, like no, like fuck no, anywhere outside of my little town that I fucking grew up in, I do not want to live. Like I've done it, right? I left home at 18. I'm now going to be 40. I don't want to live anywhere else. You know what I mean? What size is your town? Very fucking small. It takes me yeah. five minutes to get to the grocery store, to the gym, everything I need. I know where it's at. Okay, there's one 24-hour gas, two 24-hour gas stations on one little, it's like, it's like a one-horse town. It's like a one lane, like the main street. Boom. And... I can get to my properties that I own very quickly. I live right across the street from my parents. My parents are getting older. They need me. So, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Next question. Sounds like a UK town. No, UK looks like a major fucking city compared to what I live in. Trust me. Really? The country. I live in the woods. We're live, pal. Where's Paul? Like Irish town. Sounds like an Irish town then. <laughs> uh, the Valise, Tidy Ishimori hurt his neck against Hiromu Hiromu during the sh- Super Juniors. Shocks. I think Hir- Hiromu he had a bad injury, didn't he? Is, is that Takahashi? Oh, didn't he have like I a get... broken neck or? Yeah. So, yeah, it's weird how that's come back on him. I haven't watched New Japan for a while. Um, me either. I just saw Sonata was... Um, that makes me feel happy because his first time out of Japan was here in Canada in the Maritimes, motherfuckers. You know? Uh. Yeah. Uh, uh, just like some other people like, you know, Macho Man and Randy Savage. Yeah. And uh, Tono-san's excursion was over here. Yeah. And now he's uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, World's Champion. So, fuck all y'all. <laughs> Where's Paul? That's our new t-shirt coming out later this October. If you want, <laughs> I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna design it so it says "Where's Paul?" and there's Paul like dressed up as like "Where's Wally?" or "Where's Waldo?" as you call him. <laughs> Where's Wally? 
Where's Willie? Hold me. Oh, did, he was all about traffic. Did you hear about fucking Prince Harry and Meghan? Are they complaining was, about shit again? Yeah, you know, like proper attention seekers. And people said, like, I was wrong about Meghan. I was like, no, I was right. She's just like an attention hungry person. Right. They said that the paparazzi was chasing them in a high speed chase in traffic in New York. Really? Renee, you've been to you've you've been to New York. <laughs> Jonah lives in New York. What's the traffic like in New York? <laughs> bumper to fucking bumper. How could you? Yeah. Yeah. Was it New so York pirate, City? New York City. So apparently, it's all it was all staged. They're demanding the photographs taken from like the picture uh, the people who's taking the photos because they want to try and use it to make it for their next documentary. <sighs> Honestly, that guy, Harry, I don't know who's more pussy whipped, him or Will Smith. It's one of them two. Must be a fucking great piece of ass. Oh, I mean she's pretty. She is? But you know, she but she's made him turn against his whole family. Power of the vagina. Who would who would be on your Survivor Series team? Um, James, Jonah, Paul, London, and uh, well, the match will start off with three of us. <laughs> what is this? Oh. Survivors eight, eight, eight against eight, right? Eight men tag. Well, it wasn't it? It used to be teams of five strive to survive, and then it was like five. teams of four. Um, I don't fucking know. Uh, Bundy, Stud, Andre, and Coco Beware. <laughs> Someone to take the first pinfall. <coughs> Count two. Well, if I just, well, if I just wanted to win the match, it'd be Hogan, Warrior, Austin, and Cena. <laughs> I just want to win the match. <laughs> right. Oh, okay, I gotta go to the bathroom, Paul. You know, you know what state he's in, so you know that um, it's possible that he stays in traffic for a very long time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, can you hold the fort while I go to the bathroom? I'll try. Okay, I'll buddy. Try. Play some tunes. Play some music, man. Sing a song. Get copyright stroke. <coughs> Getting too old for shit. Let me start drinking. Oh, I'll answer a couple of your quick super chats. We ain't got no super chats, so I'm going to answer a couple of quick questions. Uh, Harry made his own decision. Sim holds the bounce power. I doubt it. <laughs> Honestly, she has got so much control over that guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. Look at the pictures of him before he met her. You'll know. So, uh, trust me. Uh, I don't know you can tell her. Yeah, by the way. I'm gonna have to, I don't know if Renee knows that. Um Honestly, like how them two, seriously, who's the biggest cook out of the two? I used to love Will Smith growing up. Men in Black's just been added to Netflix. I'm like, was it Netflix or Amazon? And I'm like, dude, I love that movie. And I like the song he done to it, but yeah, I lost all respect for Will Smith, especially after what he done to um, Chris Rock at the uh, Oscars. But Chris Rock's comedy special <laughs> just completely like roasted the guy afterwards. So um, yeah, so good. Uh, How's life in the UK? Depressing. <laughs> so uh, it's weird, you know. With UK, you'll hear me criticize the UK, but you know, if someone outside the UK criticizes it, I'll be the first person to defend the UK. So it's weird how that works out. <clears throat> well, it's the big show. Uh, we'll ask Renee. I don't know if Renee actually worked with him, but I'm sure he was uh, around him in the locker room. Uh, Renee, did you work with the Big Show? Yeah, I think it was like a fucking squash match. No, it was me and Don versus her and uh, <clears throat> Mr. Mark the Matician's wife. Mark yep. the Matician's wife. 
Mark the Mortician. Hello, oh, mortician. McFly. I thought you said, thought you said magician. <laughs> mortician. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you tag with Don Marie quite a lot. Huh? You tag oh, with yeah, Don we used to have um, mixed tags, me and Don versus Tori Wilson and um, Cino all the time. Oh, yeah. Dude, I must have had – I've had hundreds of matches against Cino. All over the fucking world, man. Mm-hmm. Every province, every state, every Western country, on pay per view. He turned out pretty good, right? If a heel's job is to build a baby face, just saying. He did all right. Right? Yeah, no, I might, I might buy him a bottle of Rogaine for Christmas. <laughs> Send it to him. I actually got to clip. it myself. Fuck. I've got a clip of Cena coming out soon. I've been working on the. Uh, I finally have I've had a chance to work on the uh, Lara Systems episodes, the clips. Oh yeah. I've uploaded about five, but I've got loads to edit, so I just want to make sure I've got plenty of uh, clips coming out now. <laughs> Okay, man, if Paul London doesn't show up in the next 10 minutes, I'm kicking out. What's it like having a breakdancing king? Hmm? What? You're going to have to clarify that, elaborate a little bit. I don't understand it. Where's Jonah? Uh, Jonah's busy tonight. He's uh, got family, so uh, he's been. Jonah, Jonah went to a play Ill. last night. Oh yeah. You know you're from New York City when you go out to a play. Well, Broadway. I'm assuming so. What are you gonna say? I have no idea. I said I hope this is, you know, gonna have a payoff of you getting your dick sucked. And he said, yes. Yes, it will. <laughs> See the lengths that men go to get to pussy? We go watch plays. <laughs> pay, for me- pay, uh, pay for meals. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm trying to chloroform myself. Oh, finally, <laughs> at last... Glad you could join us, Paul. <laughs> so happy to see you. It's not like I've been waiting for <laughs> 50 fucking minutes. What, man? I thought you guys said right now. <coughs> well, anyway, better late than never. We're actually glad to see you. I was about to fucking leave. Well, that's why I hopped on. I was like, you know what? Oh, so you've been watching the whole time, right? You've been just watching this <laughs> fucking watching me go crazy. I missed you so much, Paul. I think everybody, oh, everybody I miss here you. misses you. What's going on with James' background? It's all you got some super camera or something, James? What's going Dude, on? He I bought a laptop. You. He bought a fucking laptop, man. He invested Whoa. in a cafe. Isn't that special cool? effects going. This is badass, man. How do you do that? Uh, you uh, you ain't putting me in any back rake, fixed stream, Bob. I will <laughs> fuck you up. <laughs> you go to back rake me. No, turn Let's around see, real quick. <laughs> You'll fucking man tit rake me. That's right. Fix stream, Bob. I'll fix you up. <laughs> ah, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <coughs> oh, yeah, I fixed the curtains. You see, like, where he's from, it's daylight. Where I'm from, it's nighttime. Oh, I was hoping I could just be a shadow, like the anonymous guy who's like, it was a really tough time. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean time. like uh, uh, the, the secrets of professional wrestling where you could tell yeah, it's the race? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we need to do a watch along of that. We would take it's a like razor. But Daniels is on it. <laughs> you'd take a razor, and pull it out. You'd make sure the camera's fixed on you, and then that way they can see every bit. Make sure the cameras are on you perfectly, only on Wednesday nights. <laughs> Dude, I had to watch that last night with uh, Ben Hamim and uh, oh, fourteen. God. There was 14 title championship belts. What? How? 14. How? Uh, 
and Tony Khan's uh, Tony Khan's magically delicious fucking wrestling world. Magically can, delicious. Everyone can have a title. It's, it's like our a participation game. trophy. Yay! We're pro wrestlers. Pro wrestlers. We're pro graps. <laughs> we we fucking we do the wrestles. Shut the fuck up. What you eating, bud? Are you eating one of those cheese stringy things? I am. Oh. A little flop -do. It looks like a wiener. It's like a little noodle. That's <laughs> no, man. Man, you tear it down like a pro. Mama said that's the way to eat string cheese, man. <laughs> Mama said, now listen here, boy. <laughs> you want to really get the string cheese. This is the best way to eat it. <laughs> You gotta preserve. Mama said. <laughs> you gotta preserve that string cheese. Don't just bite into it. Ain't nobody gonna invite you to their parties. You gotta really staple the string cheese. Oh, oh, I'm so glad you're back. <laughs> oh, thank you, everyone. It's a celebration. That's right. I ain't taking them. Oh, I thought you said Memorial Day, Stunner. I was like, well, I ain't taking no Memorial uh, Day. No, I don't want to be braggadocious, but I took a good goddamn Stunner, right? Because uh, you know how to take a bump. You know how to sell. That shit's awesome. I never oh, took one. Well, you would have made it look better, Paul, because you're so much no. better. Um, I took Stunners from like people you never heard of. Maybe I haven't. Actually, I don't think I have. You never? Well, I mean, I'm not as good as Vince McMahon taking a stunner because that's, you know. Did you get another haircut? I did. Paul, it in. it's bad, dude. You, you'll be taking oh. bumps. You'll be taking bumps off my head here pretty soon because it's the milk's gone bad, man. <sighs> now you guys got some good barbers up there, man. What are you? What are you doing over there, James Coffin? We you hadn't you you hiding now, boy? You favoring us on the Smiths? Yeah, where are you going, boy? Huh? Well, ton, tons of lights. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. Yeah, I'm starting to speak southern. Every time uh, Paul gets to talking southern, don't forget I spent six years in the South. I you sure did. Kentucky, and I lived in fucking Texas. I I lived in like the the southern part of Houston. That's right. The, wood, the woodlands or whatever. Spring. They, they, got that, they got the draw all there. Nice computer, James. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. nice computer. Where'd you get that? Kmart? Fucking bullshit computer. Where'd you go, Jameson? Where, he went and got a drink. That's where he's going. He's going to his fridge. Yeah. He's getting fucking alcohol because he's not working tomorrow. Yeah. Um, anyway, right. Paul, let me see if I can bring up the questions. What was your most memorable memory from watching yesterday's title fest? Um, okay. The first match, they started off with a brain buster. Literally, the first move was a brain buster. Uh, this Australian fellow gave it to Orange Cassidy, and I thought he literally broke his neck, and he Kicked out at one, I think. There was like three or four Mishinoku drivers, one off the top rope, and then the finish was oh. a victory. I swear to God. And the finish was a victory roll. I got to go. Um, yeah. Roddy Strong, I really like his work. I really like him. I like the way he puts like together a match. But you can tell, man, like his body is starting to st stiffen up. You know what I mean? He's like he's moving. You know, you know, like when you can't turn your neck and you gotta move, move a certain way. The Batman like, cow, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's at that point. Like his his, his bump car is getting filled up there, buddy. Shit. <sighs> yeah, but I like his work. <laughs> is Don Stevens in the way of every fucking move. Uh, I think Don Stevens was hacking Ben Humming's fucking. Uh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it got cut off like twice. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's on. He, he, he's on the prowl. Fucking Mr. Ed. <laughs> Renee and Paul, I've heard Nash say there's a difference between working the main event and being a main event guy. 
Can you explain what that means if you and if you agree? No. Well, I think he means like main event guy being a draw. Yeah. Like I can put um, anybody in the last match, which exactly. is the main event. But for example, WrestleMania 18 in Toronto. What was the main event? Yeah. Beats me. It, it was what? Jericho Triple H, but everyone remembers the other match. That's it. So they were the main event. Like the main event last match was, but the actual main Rock event guys, the Rock and Hogan, yeah. Huh. What was the main event last time? Good fucking question. I can't remember. <laughs> Did you make it to the main event last night? I don't think there was an actual match. I think um, it was a run-in. Yeah, yeah, it was a run-in. Uh, Moxley came out. I'm surprised he didn't bleed when he got into the ring. And, He's like running down to the ramp. Yeah, I thought for sure the wind would have just busted him open hard way, you know. <laughs> did I see it correctly? I think I saw, like, did Sabu show up yesterday or something? He did. Well, they're in Vegas, right? And I guess they're staying there. I mean, I mean, Tony Khan, you know, he booked this to stay in Vegas for a whole week. Because, I mean, if he's going to party, where else are you going to party? You might as well just party for a whole week. That guy's living the dream, ain't he? Because their, their, their pay-per-view is going to be in Vegas again for double or nothing or whatever. So, When is that? Is it Sunday? Saturday or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. So... Um, Sabu cool. is going to uh, make it. I'm glad. I'm glad he's getting some TV time and a payday because that'll help him uh, get more like um, autograph signings and potential. You know what I mean? I mean, where's the lie? <laughs> I know he brought that guy on the show. I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. Who? Uh, the guy you done that promo, Bobby Fish. <laughs> I mean, where is that lie? Didn't you see it, Renee? No. What happened? Oh, he, turned, so. he, turned, he turned up in Impact Wrestling, and his big line was, where's the lie? Literally, you could hear a pin drop. Somehow, where's... from, like, no silence when he was talking to then him kind of, like, trying to punctuate, and he's like, I mean, where's the lie? And that silence got even more silent. It was... It was yeah, it was. Where's the lie? I guess that's yeah. like the. That's his line. It was. That's fucking I... money, buddy. I like Sabu, I man. I'm happy for him. Yeah, I mean, glad he, uh, you know. Jin. <laughs> James. Try it, Hakata Police. I hate the fucking police. What about that? Hakata, you corrupt piece of shit. Hakata, that's the guy in Noah, right? I don't he know. Be... I just need police. I, like I don't Hakata, Hakata, Hakata. I don't like I'm police. The Japan questions tonight. Yeah, but I would take a kick from James, and I'd oversell it, like Sean I'll and Hogan. Boy do it. <laughs> yeah, actually, I wouldn't take a kick from him. He'd probably fuck me up. <laughs> why, Where's why the lie? Why Where's the him? lie? Well, why do you think I've got them training? Because I, I've got a big mouth, so I'm like, I can send them to do my bidding. Yeah, your guard dogs, right? Yeah, man. Guard son. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Paul, did you see the bow-legged guys hat treats? What? Did you see your Renee? boy. Oh, yeah! Oh, He's still alive. a tomato. He hasn't OD'd yet? Not yet. He's a... Uh, He's Twitter got hacked, and it was just like go treating all this weird shit. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I'm sure it got. Second. Was it <laughs> he actually got hacked, or he got so much up and just start, or his his wife, who has a tendency to do stuff sometimes, <laughs> got in a fight and then she went on his thing and started doing. It. You know what I mean? Just you saying. You fucking whore! I'm going out into the woods with my gun! I'm gonna shoot some commas! Ah, I 
Green slap, but tomato. Okay. Where's the lie? Where's There's the, the lie? lie? We're gonna have to, you're running with this thing. We got to show it to you. I told you I smell money. Go ahead. Make it. Doesn't taste yet. Uh, was I serious about Benoit being a Pokemon fan? I think that was Brian that said that. Because I don't, I honestly don't, I don't, that was, that was Brian that said that. I don't, I am, yeah, I don't, I don't recall Benoit being a fan of Pokemon. He might have been. Paul, no idea. You know what, you're like, fucking, we got the same problem. People mistake you for Brian. People mistake uh, me for Sly. Fucking insulting. Oh, God, Bob, 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 I ribbed rib Renee one time when he came with Pat Patterson on his show. I got Yeah. 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 Uh, I haven't been to a show since I left. I left 2007 when I asked for a release. I have not been back since. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> I almost didn't know. The assassins know we got to go with that whole pound. Polish sauce is thicker, good girth, nice juices in your mouth. <laughs> the assassins don't do it, man. I tell you, Mama said no to the Vienna sausage. Mama said, "Where's the lie? Where is the lie in that Vienna sausage? I'll tell you where it's lying if it tells you it'll satisfy you because it won't. You got to put like a hundred of those suckers in your mouth. Oh, that's good stuff." Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the the <coughs> Who's Mr. Blackwood? Who? I have no idea. What? Zemo. Zemo, you uh drugs are bad. Okay. Don't do drugs, Zemo. Don't take a gun into the woods. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well in that case, mm -hmm. do take a gun into the woods if he's Mama said don't do drugs, okay. <laughs> Up to 280 oh. in the chat, everyone. Thank you. Please hit that like button. Hit the like button, guys. If you only knew what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> hit the like button. I'm fucking hitting you. Here we go. I've got, I've got a new fangirl. Hey <laughs> <laughs> there, big boy. Future quality. Future like, nice and jumping jacks to me. Sure. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> James, 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 go get, beer. go get a beer. It'll cure your tonsillitis. Go. It's okay. Me and Paul just. Oh, he's got gin. it. He's got yeah. it. Gin. Or bust out the toast. The toast will do I'm actually. Oh, I'm, Paul. I'm going to go there Today. and get the toaster right now. What? I uh, tell Paul about the design someone made for us. Toaster time. Oh, did I show you oh, that? The toaster you? time design? Let me, I'll see if I can get it up now. Yeah. Um, guys, uh, this is for the chat. We're potentially going to make new t-shirts. I need your... Listen, if I'm going to print this shit out and invest money, you guys got to buy it. <sighs> Please. So we'll show it to you. And if you like it, I'll make it. If you're watching this right now, you've pretty much already signed a contract saying you will buy a Toaster Time A Toaster Time fucking t-shirt. That's right. Toaster Time sounds like a... Uh, toaster Time... Oh, nice! Yeah, maybe like, like a, yeah. That sounds like it would be front like, with like a cafe de Renee in the back or something. Yeah, yeah. But it's got like a new logo coming soon. We do. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, we're just moving on up here in the cafe, boys and girls. I mean, shit, we're yeah, big I time. Laptop now. as well. Well, Scott Wild, thank you. I mean, where's the wild? <laughs> where's the wild? Mama said, "Was Bling Bling Buchanan? Was that was that a uh, Bull Buchanan's name at one point? Bling yeah. Bling? Oh, is that no, what the B squared? B squared stood squared. for? That's what I thought. Who's Bling Bling Buchanan? Bull Buchanan. But that's what I'm saying. I know he was B squared, but was he known as Bling Bling? That's what. Well, B he was with Cena, right? And if he was Bling Bling Buchanan, wouldn't he be B cubed? Right." See, fucking WWE creative. They're not that creative. I won a fucking math award in high school, so I know what I'm talking about. That's right. That's he it. went to a highly educated high school in Austin, yeah. That's Texas. Right. That's right, y'all. <laughs> Where's the lie? 
Where's the lie? Where's the lie? We should all we should all do a, a, a mustache episode where we all have a mustache. James already got. Oh, oh yeah, kind of like that time we're supposed to do it for the Royal Rumble and fuck me over. Oh come on, yes. ass. I had one before, and then I was told <laughs> my mustache grows weird. Like every time I grow one, people are like, "You're not allowed 150 feet near a school." I'm like, <laughs> "Where's the lie?" You know what? You know what? If we can get to fucking 20,000 subscribers by July, I'm going to grow the funky mustache back for you people. Yeah. Oh, let me. I could do a lemmy right now. James will do a lemmy. I'll do my funky, whatever the fuck that was, and Paul will, you know, grow something. Yeah. I'll well, get a shot and color it in. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the lie? Next question. Whoa, though. I love those was from now. Uh... Starting an online petition for Who's the Boss remake, where you play Tommy Maselli, bone up on your Brooklyn <laughs> accent. <Nice>. Bone <laughs> up. Bagel Someone's topper. Some, you guys talking about boner? Boner up. <laughs> that sounds good. Oh, boner. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. thought you said boner up. <laughs> I was about to go main event on your ass, Waldo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What happened to the schmear in your name? Bagel Topper, come on. Yeah, man. You can't be changed. What are you showing us now? What's it? Bring it up. What's that? What? It's all because blurry and shit. Blair. Fancy. Is that my face? Oh, it's my like face. Paul. And where's Paul? Okay. Oh, I, need yeah. the, I, need, I, need, I need to turn the blurter off. You need uh, to get like hey guys. Clean out of his ears. Hey guys, question for Paul. What was it like working with Eminem in 2006? Got any stories of Johnny Nitro and Mercury and also Marlena? Uh, I don't remember working with those guys. No, yeah, we uh, it was fun. Good chemistry. That was a subject I was not good at in high school. I was, I. I pretty much failed chemistry, so I was passed so that I wouldn't have to repeat it because the teacher hated me so much. Um, but we had <laughs> – I'm serious. <laughs> but, yeah, we had, we had good chemistry with Eminem, mostly with Nitro. He was always uh, game for just about anything. Mercury was like a 90-year-old person inside of a, you know – Tw- late 20s year old uh, body or something. I don't know. I guess his body was broken down, but he was usually really hesitant to do stuff. Uh, Johnny was always game. Molina was always game. We had good chemistry with those guys. We had a lot of fun. So, um, yeah. I mean, I never had any issues working with them. Um Joseph would later go on to be a horrible politicker. I guess he always was one. But as his uh, body continued to get mummified, he would uh, he would politic more and more, and he would you know want to bump less and less. And yeah, I don't know. It's good times. I think we. I think we swept them. Like we never lost a match to them. They did some weird thing building up to the title match where we beat them like every single time. Yeah. Uh, I remember that. Shout out to the Denver Nuggets for sweeping the fucking Lakers. Haha, <laughs> it couldn't happen to a fucking shittier fan base. If you're a Lakers fan, unsubscribe and get the fuck out of here. Um but yeah, good times with Eminem. Uh yeah, I really enjoyed working with those guys. Well, with Johnny and Melina. She was cool. Um, that's about it. <laughs> Roger, thank you. Uh, I finally have my Cafe de Renee t-shirt delivered to me. CDR for life. Cafe de Renee all day. 
Bye bye. Yeah, Thank gonna, you, Roger. I'm work on getting uh, some new merch out, guys. Some more hoodies for the winter. I like hoodies. I might just order it. I don't care if they sell or not. I just like wearing them. You don't have like a summer edition coming out that's like sleeves cut off. Yeah, like rainbow colored. Uh... That seems to be popular, right? Rainbow colors. Yeah, you could market it at Target. You know, it'd be a good time. Right. I Job mean... in Canada. Uh huh. Target. Job... Yeah. Target. Yes. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Dude, I don't do the shopping in this household, okay? All right. You don't shopping, do the shopping? Right? I call the shots, all right? <laughs> I'm the man of the house around here. All up in here. I slap yeah. tomatoes. Where's the lie? <laughs> We're going to beat it to like a dead horse. <laughs> yes, yes we are. To be honest, yeah. I think it's the most over it's ever been. Right? Probably. We're getting it over for him is what we're doing. Yeah. I like Bobby. I actually I like I did too. I like yeah. I I toured with him and yeah. uh Eddie Edwards and Noah. Oh and okay. always had a good time with those guys. I was with both those guys in uh England actually. Wow, nice. Mm. But if you're some you know, well I'll just yeah. Where's the guy? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. Why does VKM hate Christian's face? Why does VKM hate everyone? Why does VKM? Why is he still breathing? Uh, um, I don't know. I didn't know that he hated Christian's face, but it doesn't surprise me because he's just. I don't know. He wanted to put like a blue dot over it whenever it's on TV. Get out of here. Yeah, man. Legit. A blue dot. Yeah, like following him right around the ring so you couldn't see his face. That's why he had him dress up as, like, didn't he dress up with, like, a mask for a couple of months? Captain Charisma? No. Like, yeah, that's why he apparently he hates Christian's face. And a suggestion what was made is that they was going to put a blue dot on his face whenever he wrestled or on TV. Ugh. <sighs> All you young wrestlers out there aspire to work for that company. That's that's where you want to be, right? That's where the dreams are made. The dream factory. Make sure you have a marketable face. This is where your money's at. That's right. That's if right. You look like Christian, they'll put a blue dot over your face. That's right. <laughs> you know what would have been interesting was if they had made him wear just a green mask, like a green screen mask. Yeah, I could have just Ugh. put anything on there, but that probably would have cost too much money. So, the late chef's Tom special from the baby snatcher. Oh, it's oh, about the character yeah. to clarify oh. lifting with no shoes. <laughs> what? <laughs> How was it having your movie getting released, Paul? Yeah, it was okay. I mean, I'm, I, I'm. I have a hard time watching myself, so it's I I have my opinions on it, but people seem to be enjoying it, so I'm happy if, if they're enjoying it. As long as they keep the mindset that like this is a particular genre written for a, a specific channel or a network and it's a very uh, particular style of movie. <laughs> so I think the full thing's available on YouTube now. Yeah, yeah. So on YouTube. I uh, I probably won't watch it again, but <laughs> you know, are we boring you, boy? Where's the lie? <laughs> Couldn't wait to throw that out there again. Um, well, I gotta get it over, brother. That's right. It's already, it's already over, man. Hey, it's over. <laughs> Where's the guys? Where is he? Yes, yes, you're right, Ishmael. Fucking streaming five days a week is killing me. I'm dying a slow death. Yeah. Oh, but tomorrow night we're watching. I don't know if Paul's available. If he is, cool. But A. Starling and Alan Funk, the Kiwi, is doing the watch along, dude. <clears throat> y'all should ask. Y'all should ask. Uh, ask him about. Didn't he have like a really 
horrific accident, like in Europe. Did, or something? Listen, like we had the interview live, but he's like, like I love it the fact he's so open, but um, it's like potential lawsuit territory. So like that's why we had to like we're gonna chop it up in clips. Lawsuit, really? Still? Well, I mean, yeah, he was really, really, really open about some certain topics. Oh, wow. I mean, where's the lie? There is none. You know, not with that guy. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, you're in for a treat tomorrow night. That's right. Find him now. Mama said. Okay. Mama said, fix it. All of it. All of it. How do you guys feel about Gavrilo Princip was treated after the assess? The fuck kind of question is this? Well, Franz Ferdinand, he's the guy who died. It basically it caused World War One. It was the catalyst for it. That son of a bitch. Never it's trust. A good UK, it's a good UK rock band named after him as well. Franz Ferdinand's pretty I'm sweet. Heard, band. Yeah, I've heard of the rock band. Never trust a man named Franz. Always go. No, he's Tom. the guy who died. <laughs> Never trust a man named Princip. Yeah. yeah, Gabriel. Gabrilo. And use it to work World War history because apparently when you turn when you get into your mid thirties, that's when you take in to interest. <clears throat> you rather ride motorbikes so you take an interest in like war, like history. So like I, I know I, I I read quite a lot about World War Two. Well, then this question is geared towards you, I believe, because I liked history when I was in school, but when I was done with school, I got addicted to concussions, and I was like, cool, I don't remember anything. Yeah. What is that in your hand? Oh, it's... So, you know, my light stand out for my phone. So oh, right, 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 right. And right. this is the other phone. I don't need I it no more. Some sort of like cool razor, big razor thing. Yeah. Or like a flow bead. No use for it. <laughs> Paul, any interest in seeing Oppenheimer? Yes. Funny enough, I was almost, I was almost in Oppenheimer uh, in some kind of more uh, background role, but. <laughs> um, they shot that in in around Santa Fe, and that's uh, you know I have family out in that area, and so I was actually working at a train station <clears throat> at the time, and I ended up shooting a lot of that film at the train station. Um, but I ended up leaving uh, to go to Texas and missed out on uh, Oppenheimer. Which is a real bummer. I think the trailer looks amazing. So, um, and the cool thing about that trailer too is that they really don't show you just how stacked that cast is. I mean, if you look up the the cast of Oppenheimer, it's like everybody's in that movie. I mean, everybody. It's it's going to be. We'll see. I think it's going to be huge. And um, I think it's going to be pretty amazing. Although I remember saying that about Pearl Harbor a long time ago, and that was a bit of a stinker, wasn't it? <laughs> so, but you can't, you, you really can't go wrong with Chris Nolan. So um, I think it'll be really solid. I, I'm really looking forward to it. <clears throat> Renee, you okay there, but. Not no, no, Roger. Title matches yesterday. James, James, and his creative ideas are killing me. Who's on <laughs> creative? James, James, you're killing me. You're killing me. What happened to Jonah? Where's he at these days? He's dead. Jonah fucking James killed him <laughs> with the kick. Poor little, poor little fellow. Take it. He's taking too much of a spotlight, Paul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Don't miss place. laughs> he's getting yeah, too he's comfortable. <laughs> Shit. <coughs> have you seen Doom Asylum? I have not. I have not. And that's not to be confused with the Doom film with uh, Dwayne. Well, I actually like that movie. Oh, oh, hey, guys. It's Dwayne. Uh, guys, uh, keep it down. 
It's Dwayne. I'll uh, save a few of those sausages for me. <laughs> Bigger the better. Yeah. Um, okay. I liked. Yeah, I liked. I liked uh, Doom too. Was that Carl Urban? Also, also, I think right. That's the best part. Of it. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah. oh, when it goes to first person near the end, like it's the camera shot. It's uh, yeah. It's out of Doom games. Did they do? Didn't they do some like video game inserts in that, or am I only confusing that with House of the Dead? No, yeah, it's um, so there's the one scene. So obviously it's based on a video game, but there's the uh-huh. one scene after he takes the drug, and uh, Carl Evans does gives him like you know enhanced strength. It goes yeah. to like you know first person, and you know it's him shooting all the fucking demons and shit. It's a, it's the best part of the film. So uh, <sighs> it's good. Remember. Wow. What is more likely to happen, John Moxley not bleeding for an entire match or Top Dollar executing a perfect dive over the top rope? <laughs> Where's the lie? Top Dollar. Um, remember, <clears throat> he's on SmackDown, right? I'm asking. He's the fella that did the dive and like hooked the top rope and like... Oh, and his pants fell down or something? or <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. It was awesome, dude. Um, what do you think? Fucking beats me on this one. Well, Moxley didn't. Um, he didn't. He didn't blade yesterday, so that's a positive. We're, we're going. We're headed in the right direction, huh? He, yeah, he didn't wrestle either. Match. So. Yeah. You see. Yeah. People's people's putting two and two together with this theory that I've killed Jonah, James stole Jonah's computer. <laughs> See, it all adds up. No, you stole Johan's computer. Johan. <laughs> Johan. Johan. Jonas. <laughs> you may uh, have. Jonah, Jonah will be available tomorrow during the watch long. So I know yeah, everybody. Everybody loves Jonah. He'll Back to the with us. With Alan <laughs> Trump. A Starling, really, <laughs> and possibly Paul on if he's if he's got nothing to do. Even so is the uh, fifteen minutes? Is the Johnny Candido thing next week? Fucking a. That's okay, I got it confused. I thought it was today. So did I. I just, yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought I, I heard you come. point any fingers, but some people <laughs> got to, no. You said to me it was today. Yeah. Well, fuck. I mean, I thought. I thought, yeah. thought Maybe well, he no, got a copy of Dark Side because I don't think that episode aired yet. Right. But. No, it's Tuesday. Next Tuesday. I thought it was this Tuesday, but it's next Tuesday, the Dark Side with Chris Candino and Tammy Sitch. Uh, Chris and Tammy. It's going to be great. So we're going to have his brother, Chris, uh, Johnny Candido, come on another live Thursday show to talk about it. So this cool. is going to be a really fucking cool, cool week. <laughs> Air a dark side this week, or is that no? The no, day? the first episode of the new season is Chris and Tammy on Tuesday. Wow, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. His react and some of the stories that he's got that never been told, like Balls Mahoney, because they were really close. Uh, some Tammy Sitch stories that were never told before, and plus just his reaction to the show, sure, uh, yeah, so wow, yeah. It's going to be a great week on the cafe next week. What movie would you guys see first? Fast X or the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie? Neither. Oh, well, if, you had to choose, now. if you had to choose, if you had like, if you were surrounded by guns on my head, by sausages and catering, being fucking sodomized with a rusty fishing knife. Have you seen any of the Fast and the Furious movies? Tokyo Drift. That's the best one, dude. Bow Wow, yeah. come on. Uh, yeah. Awesome, man. And, uh, some tomatoes. Uh, what's that kid's name? In my mouth. Um, Sling- Billy Bob kid in it. No, the little kid. He's the lead in uh, Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know their names, dude. Oh, I can't I remember. Uh, in Tokyo, so... You know what I'm talking about, right? Lucas. That's what I was drift. thinking. What's drift? Do you Lucas know what Black. No. Yeah. Is it? Pops. Is it? Yeah, Lucas Black. Wait, maybe. 
Look at Renee you know coming. DK stands for Donkey Kong. <laughs> Frankie from Sling Blade. Yeah, but yeah, I I actually I I liked part yeah, two. Like anything, it is Lucas Black, right? Yeah. Okay. I if I had to, I'd watch the fast because Cena's in that one, right? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I would want to see two. Uh, I like Cena one and B. I want to see if he they cover up his ball spot. Um, yeah, so I'd have to see that. I want to see what they're doing with that ball spot, dude. Paul, I went and got my haircut today, and like I'm getting I'm thinning on the top, buddy. Let's change the subject. The melt's <laughs> gone bad, Paul. Where's the lie? Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll be wearing a wig on cafe soon enough. <laughs> I'll be like, hey guys, Target! <laughs> oh shit, I can't do it anymore. Hi guys, I work at Target. Um, everyone has their favorite version of the dead man. An underrated version of him is he's when he returned in 2011. Started coming up to Johnny Cash, ain't no grave. Him and Trips the promos were amazing. Yeah, right. Fuck. I don't remember the I kind of remember the Johnny Cash song. This is pre biker, right? No, it's after. Are you still with the company in 2011, Paul? Oh, 2011. Yeah. Fuck no. That's probably okay, why I don't know. Like, <laughs> listen, for going forward, I did not watch anything past 2007, January. Like the last six months I was at the company, I didn't watch the show, and I haven't watched since. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm always gonna go to the classic uh, body bag version myself. So, oh, the mortician. Yeah, the Mark paint. the mortician. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Chuck like, Norris, like Ministry Taker, with the. Uh, Cubic okay. pat thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Both Paul and Renee. Where do you guys see wrestling today? If Todd Grisham, uh, Todd Grisham, Todd Gordon didn't start up ECW back in the nineties. Yes, yes. Now, are you? Is it? Is this an insinuation that most of the wrestling today is? Attempting to copy ECW style? Well, yep. between that and like Japanese strong style and Mexican lucha. See, I think um, yeah. on Japanese strong style, I think people tend to overlook the influence from like Michinoku Pro also, because I think that Michinoku Pro was really such an accelerated form of Japanese wrestling that um, I think that that's, that, that takes a lot of that, that, that was a huge influence I think as well on what you're saying. Cause the, a lot of those guys are, you know, the same <laughs> size as today. It was like more of like a cruiserweights. Well, so was Dragon Gate though, right? With the Yeah. Same thing. Right. So they're almost, uh, I think Michinoku pro was just before Dragon Gate. Okay. But I, yeah, I think those two. With like the overkill with the fucking finishes and the false finishes and the big moves, kickouts and the. Yeah, and just like the really extended kind of sequences and, and you know, things of that nature. So yeah. um, if he had, if Todd Gordon had never started ECW back in the 90s, uh, boy, that's tough to say. Um they would have I'd copied love- off somebody else, and there's only one person to copy off of at that <sighs> point in time would have been the Japanese, probably like uh, FMW. That's what Paul was doing, right? All the hardcore yeah. shit. The barbed wire and stuff, that was from FMW. Right. Mike right? Austin, Hayabusa. Right? Yeah. Wasn't I the know. Exploding Rings, was that FMW? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Sure was, baby. Uh-huh, looking good. <laughs> Look yeah. It's OJ's food order eggplant parmesan, not sliced. Oh my god. 
<laughs> the key is to not take a single bite, man. Oh. Swallow it whole, man. Keeps you keeps you satisfied for longer. Mm, you chew it. Lie on that. Mama's You'll be hungry in another half hour. That's roast. right. That's right, man. I said, do not chew. <laughs> Swallow whole. <laughs> Oh. That's right. <laughs> I don't know how you want to take this, Paul. Good life I like you guys. As a, <laughs> good products. As a, as a smaller guy, imagine 2002, you just rocked up with your hands in your pockets and didn't learn how to run the ropes and had the personality of a dead dog. How do you think things would have went? Oh, fuck. I would, have, I, would have just, I would have just thought to myself... Oh, I just know, I just know that someday there will be a company on Wednesday nights and they'll see what I have to offer. I just know it. Oh, he has, he has a title. Of course. One of, the, uh, one of the 14 on last night's show that were displayed. Uh, but, you know, with this being said, <laughs> rocking up with my hands in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. None of these, yeah, none of them would have been allowed in the in the ring. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Only way you'd be allowed in the buildings by buying a ticket. Yeah. So. Um, no, it's true. Yeah. A lot of the guys on well, the ones that aren't related to somebody that don't look like, you know what I mean? You know, you, Paul, you were there. You know the goddamn deal. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, in a way, like, yeah, going back to that ECW question, I mean, that was, um, that was a big opening for smaller yeah. guys. It's not just hardcore extreme wrestling. It's also, you know, created a platform for smaller guys and international yeah. guys, yeah. um, an accelerated style. Uh, but I think, Definitely taking influence from Lucha Libre and, um, yeah. Yeah. So, just would have kept my hand in my pockets. But which pockets? Would they have been the pockets in my jacket or the pockets in my pants? That's the question. That's the question. There's some pocket pool going on. Favorite Uh Chappelle show skit. Here's his racial draft. Boy, I gotta remember a lot of them. Well, I like the Rick James. That's probably the most famous, right? I like the Wayne, the Wayne Brady Johnson. one. Definitely one of my. Oh, favorites. that's fuck. Is Wayne Brady gonna have a smack a bitch? Oh. Yeah, remember that shit. He's like, oh man, my my wife or my mom will never believe me. Yeah, you're right, motherfucker. Or something he, like fucking like kills him. But, like, right, yeah. Right. Oh, that was so. That was good. That was really. What about uh, the Same the thing. black white supremacist? Clayton head what is it called? Clayton Bigsby. <laughs> that's right. You get out of here. Oh, fuck. Why aren't you, why aren't you telling me? Why aren't you telling me he's black? Because he'll kill himself. He's so dedicated to the. <laughs> hey, but that's not the one where the, is that the one where the clan members like head explodes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. At the end. <laughs> God, it's so good. Oh. <laughs> he divorced his wife. <laughs> Couldn't go with it. I heard I Chappelle was opening up his own comedy. Like, is he? He's from like Ohio, I think. Is that like he's from yeah, Ohio? Yeah, he is. I guess he lives yeah. out in the woods, man. Like, out he's the... like, he bought a he bought a a theater, I think, and he's converting. He's making it into a comedy club where he's gonna like perform multiple times a week just like right there kind of oh, in his wow. backyard so you if you're in Ohio you'll be able to see Chappelle weekly wow um, yeah just kind of just doing his own thing like that's you know how many people are going to go there like as like a tourist destination just to see yeah, that? yeah. I will for fuck's sakes that's pretty I cool will. why the fuck else would I want to go to Ohio see where John Moxley grew up <laughs> Just follow the blood, the blood triple, you right. know, like the blood drop. 
Well, the, like, not follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> follow the blood soaked blood soaked road. <laughs> yeah. Actually, so my like, wife my wife has a friend of hers that lives in somewhere in Ohio. So. <laughs> She's I have a, yeah, I got like a soft spot for Ohio. You know, it's like home of West Craven, and it's where yeah, like the yeah. Elm Street series takes place. And I lost my four front teeth and developed a painkiller addiction in Cincinnati. So that's fucking crazy. You know, good memories, great memories. Watching it on the ring post, like that is the worst way to lose your teeth. The worst. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they get the impression that wrestlers botch on purpose just to make it to botch. Yeah, I do. <laughs> to make Sabu. it to botch mania. Sabu swears that he botches on purpose, right? Like, funny enough, the first time I ever met and worked with Sabu was in a three-way dance in yeah in Arlington, Texas, for a company called PCW, and. I was the big heel, and I was feuding with uh, a local babyface by the name of Chris Chronic, who had like gear with like pot leaves and stuff all over it, and uh, and his valet Mary Jane, and so we were in this feud, and we I was I think I was defending a title, um, one of like twenty titles. Um, AEW? No. Oh, he's no. Not. Okay. No, there was like maybe I think only three or four titles in this company, but oh. it was a really cool company at the time. It was like the it company to work for in Texas at the time because they had bought um, an old movie theater that was doubled. It was like it shared a building with an old gym. And so they bought the entire building. And I think they might, maybe they already owned the gym. I'm not really sure. But anyways, they busted out the brick wall that separated the theater, the movie theater. And it was like a, I don't know what kind of movie theater it was, because it was just like one big kind of um, theater auditorium seating kind of thing. Um, But that's where the wrestling took place and had the ring there. And then the brick wall separating the theater from the gym, they broke it out to where it was, that became the entrance. And so the locker room was the gym. And there was a like two practice rings or something in the gym. And it was a great facility. And so you'd walk through this brick wall into the theater. Like that was the gorilla was the, um, the, the way they broke out the brick wall. It was almost like as if like Kool Aid Man has smashed through this brick wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they made that the the gorilla, and that was the entrance. Um, it was really neat. Uh, but anyway, so I wrestled Chris Chronic, and we got out there and we started this match. Like we did maybe like two moves or something, and he like I think I shot him. He reversed me into the corner, and then uh, the music, like the lights went off, and the music, uh, Sabu's music hit, and. He was like this big surprise. And uh, they were like, oh, my God, Sabu is here. Sabu, Sabu. And he comes out. So I get to this shoot reversal. I take the tur- I take the turnbuckle. And Chris Chronic gets down on all fours. And Sabu gets in the ring. And, like, right off the bat, he's going to run and do the jumping, like, Arabian press into me. Because yeah. um, now it's, like, two baby faces on one heel. And he takes off. And he jumps and he trips right on Chris Chronic and just bites it like right at my feet. Um, like first thing of the match, he right he, he botches his own move right off the bat, and I'm so stunned because I'm sitting here like really excited to be working with Sabu, and I'm just like holy shit! Like in my head, I'm thinking like oh fuck! Like he just fucked up like, his own move, right? And watch the match. I think it's on YouTube. Um, you can kind of see him like point down and he was like looking at me, he goes, Stomp on me, you idiot. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I'm just like, oh right. <laughs> I started fucking like kicking him, but I was there was a moment where I was just like, Oh shit. Um but then like later on, befriending him and everything, like he would he would talk about he would swear that he would fuck up his own uh like the triple jumps and all that. Like he he said he would fuck up on purpose. Uh, but he would justify it by saying that, you know, that's 
that's part of what makes things high risk. And if you never see anybody fuck up, then where where's the risk? Um, so that was his justification that he would purposely fuck up mat, uh, spots. So that he would, he would emphasize what the fuck? Uh, uh, James what? is drunk. Inflatable couch? Is that? What? What is that? Is your couch covered in plastic? Like, are you Dexter? The fuck is that? <laughs> That's where I killed Jonah last night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, I can't imagine guys plan botches. I don't know. That seems a little. I don't feel like guys have. I don't feel like any anyone has the courage to do that. You know. I don't know. Some people have the courage to stick a fucking syringe in their dick. It's true. Or have a referee light them on fire and their opponent throw them halfway across the fucking hall. Supposedly going through light tubes and missing that and splatting on the concrete. Yeah. We got this fire extinguisher for you. No, 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 no. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I want it to look rough. I want it. I want I want to be put out with beer. Get rid of it. Then that way people will be like, why didn't they have a fire extinguisher? And like, we will plan this botch. It'll be great. Hillbilly psychology. That's right. <laughs> You're lounging, James. You're both of you guys are lounging. Dude, I've been up since four in the morning. <sighs> Fucking hell. Really work helps. <sighs> I, just, been, I worked out this morning. Did you? Sure did. So proud of you. Sure did. Yeah. Uh, um, did you guys see the video of the woman preaching abstinence on an LSU campus? Yes, it's awesome. It's so I didn't yeah. know that that was LSU campus. This has to be the same thing though. Um but it's hilarious. I, I highly recommend it. She experiences uh, uh, like when you don't have sex, right? Right, right, right. But she is like, she's using, she knew her crowd and she was, she had the whole, like the, all the college kids that are surrounded, but she had them in the palm of her hand. Like she really did. And it's hilarious. Um, so does that like include like no masturbation or? She might say that. I'm trying to remember, but she's just like, she says, she's like, um, like, and you don't want to go out there and have a bunch of drinks because you know that if you have a bunch of drinks, then the girl's going to spread her legs. And like, everyone's like, pop, everyone pops. And then she's like, and then if she spreads her legs, she's going to spread her butt. And they're like, they pop. And it's like, and then that means that someone's gonna put a penis in her and like huge pop. <laughs> like, oh, it's something along those lines, but it's 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 fucking hilarious. Like, oh she, my god, is this like, like woman? Is she such a work at all? No, she looks like oh. the lady that gets mad that you returned your library books like a day late. Like she's. She does not know. She's is she related she to Doc like, Stevens. <clears throat> That's what I want to know. Very likely. Okay. No, way more charisma, and oh. actually knows knows how to work. Like oh, total work. It's really funny. I highly recommend it. Okay. So, rest in peace, Ray J. Johnson Jr. Who? Who's that? I will say rest in peace, Ray Stevenson. Yeah, I, I finally saw that article because you mentioned it. What a massive loss that was. There is. I mean, that's just uh, brutal. And whoever this uh, Ray J. Johnson Jr., uh, not sure, but condolences. <sighs> All right, let's finish up these chats because I'm falling asleep here. It's because you put your hoodie on. Yeah. Lazy eye. 
Phil Salugri's name is. He, he was a singer. Oh, wait. One was the... he the Ghostbusters song? Oh. No. no. Hold on a second. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up right now. At uh, first I just saw Jay Johnson. I was like, no, wrestling's greatest composer. It was a comedian. Oh, it's a comedian? Yeah, uh founder member of the Ace Trucking Company comedy troupe. Rest in peace, Tina Turner. That's yeah, I was thinking guy. that. Oh, yeah. Thing. I mean, you know. Um, What's love got to do with it, right? What's the like? <laughs> Renee and Paul, your favorite, favorite match, match, and anybody you both I don't would know. Have loved to fight. I don't know. Anybody you would have loved to fight from any era? Would have loved to work with or love to fight? Yeah, because Fit <laughs> Finley loves to fight. Because I tried to fight a fucking bow-legged possum-nosed fucking hillbilly many times, and he would scurry up a tree. So, yeah. did you really try to fight him for real? Oh yeah, there were several times, and it was like, "Look, motherfucker, like let's fucking go outside, really, and fucking settle this shit." Yeah, and he was like, "Oh, I don't want to fight you. No, I don't have a problem with you." Like, shut the fuck up. Wow, I didn't know it was that heavy. Exclusive. Oh, dude. Yeah. That yeah. sheet's going to be running with us tonight. What? Oh, I don't give a shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> pilled up. It would have been a major handicap, though. It's like if you're a beat up, like somebody who's fucking pilled out of their heads, like there's, there's not really a fight there, you know? Oh. Where's the lie? <laughs> oh. oh. I will say it's a big deal. Don't joke about it. Does it punch? After it's been in his pocket. Oxycotton? Orange custody. Oh. Oxycotton? Jesus. <laughs> That's what they call Oxy's cock. Any oh. memories of the Floyd Mayweather entourage getting into a shoot shoving match with a raw locker room? Palumbo, Shane, and maybe Kendrick was there, I believe. No memory. I was probably, with the company. I was did, you probably see the company. did you see the spot with the big show? Uh, no way out. Where he punched him in the nose? Yeah, there was a legit punch. And yeah. the big show was going to kill him. Shane McMahon came running out to calm him down. <laughs> no, <laughs> really? Yeah, man, it was real. You could tell because yeah. big show's eyes was like watering up. So you could tell. Was he his nose blood. like? Legitimately yeah. crooked and bloody, yeah. Yeah, and his eyes was like watering. It's all like, it takes. What? Watch it, like, and Mayweather his entourage around him and Big Show, it's like throwing them around, like toss them to one side, like the ragdolls, because he was just chasing them. And Shane McMahon <laughs> ran out. He's like, "You cool? You cool?" And then Big Show's like, "I'm cool." <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh, was it guys. as funny as Big Show getting dragged while hanging onto a coffin? No. No, that's a classic right there, buddy. That's fucking, good. That's fucking classic sports entertainment. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> or trying to push over a Jeep that gets repeatedly lifted with brakes in television so that they can redo the spot. Do you remember that, Renee? When he was like, uh, I can't recall, but that's like the Jeep over and he couldn't and he just kept rocking it. And then they like they took a break in TV again. So magic could run out there and kind of jack the Jeep up higher. Oh, and my God. Like restart it. And then like same thing. Couldn't oh do it. God. Break the TV, jack the Jeep up even more. Still couldn't do it. Ended up not being able to do it. So you just uh, like smacked the windshield and broke it. And that was it. <laughs> Where's the fucking... Oh, where's the fuck? Oh, Sabu steals Cove's lunch money. It's a swerve. Did he? Oh, Adam Coles. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. How would OJ preach abstinence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's the <laughs> guys? Mama said no. 
No pussy balls. Second, she spreads her legs. You fucking <laughs> take off running opposite direction. No, no, no. Mama said no to that seafood. Uh-uh. No, no, uh-uh. no. Gross. If you got some friends and they're doing a backyard <laughs> barbecue and they're putting mm. eggs on the grill, you be mm-hmm. first in line. First in line. That's right. Mama said yes. Yes. <laughs> You guys look like you're about to fall asleep. Dude, it's fucking like 10 after 9 and I'm just... Oh, bless. Yeah, it's what, like 3 in the morning for you? 10 past 1. <laughs> 10 past 1. Well, are we doing Cinemax after this fall? <laughs> we are. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I love the videos, guys. Keep it up. <laughs> well, thank, thank you, Colossus. Thank you, Colossus. Yes. Colossus. Yes. Colossus. Yeah. Is that Hunter? No, man, that's uh, fucking Leon Kennedy. Isn't he evil? I am the game. Colossus Trebuchy. Triple H. Yeah, hey, Paul, tomorrow I'm going for that laser treatment to quit smoking. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks, Paul. Good luck. They're like, we have a um, special for you, Renee. Actually, the laser goes in your pee pee hole. And um, it really helps you cut back on the foom foom. So we really want to, let's let's see the pee pee hole. And we're going to put a little, actually, we're going to bring in an extra doctor. It's like, yeah, what's going on? Where did you go, man? Yeah. No, I'm a doctor. So, uh, <laughs> working with here. Oh, no. Shave that shit up, man. Let's make that more presentable. I'm going to shave it up for you real quick, man. Give you a little pubic design right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is in the show, though, Jack. I don't know. Jesus. Jesus Christ. You got meningitis, James? You can put it on pause. You can put it on mute so you don't choke. How about if you sit up? Would that help? Yeah. If you weren't lying down while keeping a laptop on your... Are you Are you going to die? You look like you're fucking choking right now. No, that's are you fucking... okay, buddy? Oh. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> do you guys see his whole rate and underrated? Um, underrated, underrated Casey James. Fucking A. Yeah, 100%. Casey James. Casey. Terribly underrated and yeah. never gets mentioned. Amazing, yeah. amazing fucking worker. Another guy One. was um, Mike Cruel. Yeah, the man. I forgot. Cool. Mike Cruel was very talented. Yeah. OBW. He's from the Northeast, but that guy had a he had a trade as a fucking electrician, and he didn't need wrestling, but he was talented. Um, Chad Collier, a who? Chad Collier. Chad Collier, the fucking metal master. Yeah, I tried okay. getting him into all Japan. Oh wow! I tried. I tried. I tried you. I got Lance Cade. I got Lance Cade because the Booker Kazayashi was in HWA. Oh right, right, right. With Lance, but yeah, Chad, I think he was just too small or something. I don't know, fucking know what the fuck. Yeah, he wanted big gaijing. Um, overrated's pretty obvious, probably. <laughs> well, that yeah, I was about saying. <laughs> what the? Fuck? Why is the mouth open? <laughs> I can slap a tomato. That guy's fucking overrated. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. Agatha said if the guy gives the woman a fifth margarita, then the guy gets pegged. Yes. Oh, yes, she says yeah, she mentions getting pegged in the place he erupts. Agatha. That's I didn't know that was her name. That she looks like an Agatha. This is the lady at the college campus. I'm telling she you, you guys. A uh, feminist or something, or I don't know. I think she's just like a, like a hardcore religious kind of nut uh, job. Well, hold on a second. How are you supposed to reproduce if you don't have sex? 
Is she meaning like oh, sex she... before marriage, abstinence before marriage? Yeah, I think that's yeah. like that was her main. Oh, okay, yeah. I get it. Right. I see where you're going with this. Well, the world would be a better place, but that's impossible. Yeah, there's a lot of shit parents out there, and there is know. or none or one parent. Uh, yeah. Um. Who was that? Overrated Lex Luger and Ultimate Warrior. Underrated Barry Windham. Now, this really depends on what you deem in terms of overrated, because I, to me, I would take this. I would take this as like work rate, right? Because you can't say like Ultimate Warrior was overrated from a like he had like everything but the work rate, right? Um, Lex Luger, slightly, you know, better worker, was able to put on really? more class. I think than Warrior, wouldn't you think? I mean, he had more of a move set. He had, he was able to have longer matches. Um, yes, I think there was more variety. You know, I was curious though. Uh, why did Luger never used the torture rack when he was with WWF? Did he? Like, I know he was like narcissist. He the running form, wasn't he? Right, yeah, they built it as like he had the steel plates in his forearm and stuff, and he was like the narcissist, right. and he went on to be like the all American, whatever, yeah. Lex, you know, Lex Express and all that stuff. Lex but like, he never used the torture rack, did he? Like, in and that move was already really over from, you know, w, uh, WCW, NWA, like that, that move is already over. So, like, it's, I was wondering, I was like, why did he never used the torture rack? Mm. Maybe he did, and I just don't remember. But I don't, right. I don't think he ever used the torture rack in WWF. Because I remember from the Royal Rumble video game, his his finishing move was a running forearm, where he boom and knocks the guy out. Yeah, and that was his. That was yeah. He was that was very that got over. That was you know he knocked any guy. He was knocking people out with it. But I just mm. I was always curious why he never, why he didn't use the torture rack because it was already over. You know. Maybe Vince didn't want to completely change every single thing about him. Including maybe, his maybe he did want to change every single thing about him. Yeah. Yeah, like everything. Yeah. Maybe. Because I think Vince was dead set on making him the next big star. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Makes sense. It does. Can I get an RIP for my dog Cassius? He was the listener of the cafe from the beginning. Oh man, that's oh, oh fuck! I'm sorry, brother. So sorry, man. Dog really sorry. Losing a pet is like sometimes I think worse, you know, than losing a, a family member. Depending 110%. on 110 percent, they are your losing a family member. Losing a child. Yeah, you know. Sorry, so, Rick. Man, if we can, uh, uh, anything you want. I mean, James will go naked on camera if that makes you laugh or something. He already is from the waist down. <laughs> Are you naked right now, James? You're right. fucking naked, oh, yeah. aren't you? Right oh, like yeah. that. <laughs> Fuck. We all are. I mean, we where's all. the lie? Where's the lie? We're laughing <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Save it James, for Patreon. James will die on Patreon, so sign up now. He'll die for you. Oh, this podcast will yeah. be a death for me. <laughs> it'll be a death for me. Take... Five days. Dude, you're not doing five days. You don't do the watch longs, James. I have to do that <laughs> shit. I have to watch this fucking shitty modern wrestling. Yeah. I told you, man, if you're watching the current day Raw, we can just go back and watch the old school stuff. I really don't want to watch that shit either. Like, I don't enjoy watching wrestling anymore. Like, it, they well, look me. what you did. Look what you 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 backed yourself into a, a hole. Yeah. I mean, a movie. Yeah, we need to get you on. Sitting it. Talk about um, Devil's Rejects. No, that'll do. Yeah, we should get we should get Renee on Cinemarks to talk about Devil's Rejects. Devil's Rejects, yeah, that, I love that movie. Um, yeah, yeah, but uh, sign up to the pay. Come on, guys, fucking throw me a freaking bone here. I'll, I'll throw pitch. you a bone. <laughs> 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 that'll give you 
Yeah, you'll stop smoking then. Trust me. <laughs> you, want the, you want the smoke? I give you the poke. Um. Yes, Gangrene. I have seen Faith and More live twice, and I have seen Mike Patton with Rozelle, and I have seen Mike Patton with um. God, what's what? Uh, Oh, I'm blanking on the name. Not um, not Mulligan. Another another one of his a thousand groups. But Faith and More Live was amazing. It was uh, better than expected. Absolutely spectacular. The last time I saw Faith and More Live was when they were debuting uh, Soul Invictus, and they had three sellout shows at the. Uh, Wilton Theater in Koreatown and each night they had a different guest on stage in like different outfits or something and I think uh, the night prior to the night I, I went on the third night and the night before they had I think I want to say from what I understood it was like Duff McKagan in a gimp suit so like you wouldn't know who these guests were but then on the night that I went, there was this guy kind of like just walking around the stage with Faith No More. And he was dressed in like like a beekeeper outfit. Uh, and he, he looked like um, he looked like kimchi. I was going to say that. But it turns out it was it was Danny DeVito. No. Um, yeah, because yeah, he's huge, huge uh, Faith No More and Mike Patton fan. So it was really cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Faith and More is just, was incredible. So if you get a chance to see Faith and More or Mr. Bungle or any of his bands, I highly recommend it. It's, it's amazing. Get on it, Gang Green. Great icon as well. Pantera. Who's the real slap nuts in the industry? Paul London. <laughs> That's <Thank> right. <laughs> Spunky. What is a slap nuts exactly? I never got that from Jeff Jarrett. Like Jeff, that was never over. Okay, nobody ever fucking liked that stupid slap nuts shit. Are you kidding? That was so over in like the hillbilly states, and like I think, nuts. Yeah, somewhere you can see like some backyard videos where there's like some hillbillies and they're like, "If you want some, come get some slap nuts." <laughs> you know, I'm gonna light you on fire. <laughs> Actually, my friend referee's gonna light you on fire. I'm That's gonna right. top your ass, cross the hall, <laughs> miss the table, and then my buddies are gonna fucking put that shit out with beer. Bear. So you want some? Come get some. Slap nuts. Hey. You want extreme? We'll give you Southern style extreme. Uh huh. That's right. Slap nuts. I don't know. Okay. There's too many slap nuts to fucking list. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Come on, Renee, you both have made history, so I figure you are the correct people to ask this. Why would WWE make someone train a year for a comeback only to return and get buried like Chris Canyon? The fuck with them. Well, he was a WCW guy. Yeah, and we're not talking about a wholesome, like, ethical company here. I mean, mm. the the company's history speaks for itself. It was a company that thrives on breaking up relationships, breaking up marriages. Yeah. Um, I mean, they just like making your life miserable. Necrophilia. Incest. Oh, fucking bullshit. Yeah. Thong tan lines when you're fucking 99 years old. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Inspector Clouseau mustaches, $26 million in NDAs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're not, I mean, where's the lie? Where's the lie? Where is it? Where is it? So, where is it? It's with Waldo. Just gotta find it. Waldo Schmear. Uh huh. I think we caught that. It. We got one last one. Ten dollars. Is that the last one? Okay. Everyone's fucking stylish now. Jeez. Dude, I gotta fucking go to sleep. I'm fall. I gotta wake up at four a.m. and work out. You have uh, to. Uh, you have to, because if anyone gets to the fucking gym before you, I get fucking hot. No, that's Bob Holly, because he's a fucking idiot. 
But uh, no, I just like to be on the same routine every day is getting in shape, you know? Yeah, I hear you. What are you lifting tomorrow? What uh, what body parts? Well, I got to – James, you missed my um, – No, I tomorrow I do fast and more cardio. I do fast and morning cardio every morning, and then – I'm going to do that laser treatment, and then I'm going to lift in the afternoon. So I go to the gym twice a day. Sometimes I've been going three times a day. Jesus. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking just crazy. What it takes, ladies and gentlemen, um, fasted cardio. What do you do for cardio? A stationary bike, usually, and, like, inclined treadmill. But sometimes, you know, like, if I had a big meal or something, like, if I had extra calories that I – you know what I mean? Like the night before or the yeah, day before? Yeah. Then I'll do like the elliptical or something. Or if I'm training for yeah. something like I've been turning down matches left and right because I just don't. I'm just not. Dude, since I started watching modern wrestling, it, it's actually decreased my interest. And increased your depression? <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why I'm trying to work out so much to get the endorphins in my brain pumping. Yeah, maybe. I mean, uh, I, mean, I, mean <laughs> I was gonna say, it, I was like, no, this is too much. Uh, so then you get the fucking laser dick treatment, and then then what will you eat before you go? Because you're not gonna lift without eating, right? Like, that's well, I'm gonna to... do my fasted cardio, I'm gonna have breakfast, probably have another meal, then I gotta be in Moncton at no 10 shit. 10 a.m. To do the the laser treatment, right? I, I guess it takes two hours. So I don't, I'll I'll let you know exactly what it is and how it goes. Cool. And then, um, yeah, like in the afternoon around two or three or four, I'll I'll lift weights again. And then sometimes, man, it'd be like eight o'clock at night and I can't sleep, and I'll just drive to the fucking gym and do like triceps or biceps, quick 15, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. Now, do you warm up? for those workouts or like i mean i don't like i have this thing against working out cold like obviously you can a light work. set like a 12 to 15 rep saying like uh you know like before, i'm doing triceps i'll do like uh push downs or whatever 12 to 15 just to, to warm it up and then increase the weight slowly something like that yeah okay yeah yeah that makes sense that makes yeah. sense um yeah. James, I recommend a hot toddy. That'll help soothe the throat. Yeah. You don't know what a hot toddy some, is? Got some spray stuff that's not working. Spray, get out of here with that Target stuff. We want you to get the old whiskey and the hot toddy with the honey. It'll take care of it. Hot yeah, whiskey. Honey, honey helps and gargle and uh, maybe some sea salt. Right, gargle, gargle, and, yeah. Uh, but you gotta get some sleep, guys. You're killing my co-host here. You're killing my producer. Also, put that whole eggplant down there. That'll clear it up real good. Uh, slap a tomato. Okay, Paul. If you can pause, um, if you can possibly hop on tomorrow, 15, 20 minutes, just to talk with me and Ace, and I want you to meet Alan Funk. You, oh, you met Alan Funk. I don't know that I have. Honestly, he says, yeah, he says he met you and he's like your best friend. Okay, Hello. come on, You're getting That's worse. But he said he was at HWA, right? Yeah, I just missed him. I mean, I was a fan of his because I think he and was it he and Skipper were like the WCW cruiserweight tag team champions. Like towards the end of WCW, they had. I think he was. Yeah, debuted the tag team cruiserweight yeah. cruiserweight tag team championship. Is like a pretty interesting concept, um, but either way, now it'd be really cool to uh, to listen to uh, his oh, insight. He's entertaining as hell. I yeah, yeah. I was, was always I was, his, always a fan of his work. It's a treat. Yeah. He don't give a fuck, and we love that here. Okay, yeah, so I gotta go to bed. So does James and Paul. You gotta go to bed, and I'm gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow night on the live stream, 8 o'clock Eastern. Bonsoir, tout le monde. Where's the line? Mm -hmm. Yeah.